Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games, broadcasting at 60 frames a second, and especially 7800 games, because we have four of them tonight. That's crazy. Yes, now Aww. that the 7800 is up and functional, I've got the concerto card, it's broadcasting uh, S-Video, mm -hmm. it's crystal clear. Nice. We can get in, dive into the 7800 games finally. Nice. Yes. So the games we have tonight are a uh, new update to Unawars, mm -hmm. brand new game Bomber, Bomber Hero. Okay, mm, uh, I know who that's, that's... Uh... <laughs> what could that? <laughs> sounds know. like something. I don't know um, could be. New Night Guy on board, 30 Squares of Fate. Nice. And the retail copy of Ricky and Ooh. Vicky, the sold out 7800 game. Nice. Um two-player game puzzle action game mm -hmm. how could it get any very better? very very fun yes yes i've not played it we've not played it at all so this is going to be this version you mean. unboxing i've not played it ever no this is not no? millie and molly this is a totally different game it's not the it's not the one we played before this is this is very very different you can take a look at the box it's puzzle solving there's waterfalls uh. and it's it's very very different okay cool um i want to thank all the twitch subscribers out there support the show alan the fur arms guard coder catalogs coconut 81 dianoid dan abc drexel goku great offender gretums ground trooper johnny wc 23 one Urado, carl g Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari 1969, Mick Muse, Miss Command, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, Packrat, VG, Coog 2600, RC70, Repellents, VG, Ricardo Pam, Scum Software, Six Sweet. You signed back up. I well, did. thank you. I did it in the middle of the, the last, the last show. <laughs> yeah. Smitty B, 7800, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spiceware, Esmers 2008, the D Train 37, the Welshman 89, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD. Mm. If you don't hear your name and you have signed up before, um, I don't think it alerts you very well. No, unfortunately. Um, so you got to keep on top of it, and that's why I keep saying this over and over. I know it's annoying. But if you want to support the show, you can do it for free mm -hmm. by linking your Amazon Prime, which almost everyone has, to their Twitch Prime and click subscribe and it's free. Um, and if you don't want to do that, you can just follow us and it'll tell you when we're broadcasting um, in case you forget. Tuesdays and Fridays, twice a week now that we're in the new year, mm -hmm. uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern. And then I post it the next day at the same time mm -hmm. on YouTube. Yes. Oh, I was going to say, because we have a lot of games to play in the next Ugh. month. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll get to that mm -hmm. right now. Um, mm -hmm. The uh, third annual Atari Homebrew Awards starts this Friday, next show. And uh, that's when the voting starts, mm -hmm. where you get to vote for your favorite games that, you, that came out in 2020. Um, tons and tons of different uh, categories. Actually, let's go through them right now. Okay. So people know what I, is coming. I'm not sure I know all the categories. So you for my not. my information as well as everyone else. Yeah, let's make that a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so here it is. Uh, third annual Homebrew Awards 2020. The voting will take place in the Atari Age forums. As I drop my tablet. tablet. Not important right now. <laughs> um, and uh, it's brought to you by Zero Page Homebrew. Um, Atari Age. Mark Space Inc., who puts out Argon, and you'll hear a lot more about that mm -hmm. during the broadcasts, um, and the Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion, which is made by Arena Foot, Brian Mather, mm -hmm. who's here tonight as well. Um, so the voting begins next Friday after the show, uh, at the latest, just before midnight, um, but as, as quick as I can get to it after the show. Um, and the voting ends at the end of this month, just before midnight, so Perfect. January 31st. <clears throat> and then the award show is on... The next weekend? The next Saturday? Yeah, not, okay. Not the s next day Saturday, but no, the week after. the week after. Which okay, is that's February 6th, yeah. which is Saturday, not a Friday, Saturday. Yeah. At noon Pacific, 3 Eastern and 8 p.m. Uh, GMT. So pretty much all of North America and Western Europe can easily watch it nice so i wanted to make sure that most you of our audience a lot of regions yeah and most of our <laughs> audience lives in those regions yes I, it might with be, a few exceptions might be fairly early morning for australia yeah i would think so so you might have to get a little up a little early i think it's four hours i don't know i australia so it might be 8 a.m me so <laughs> might be 8 a.m but uh um 
So the this is this is for homebrew that was released in 2020. Mm. Um, so either they finished it or they've done it. It's a work in progress and they put out an update. Mm. So that does encompass a lot of games. And we played most of them last year because mm. I try and play almost every game that comes yeah. out for 2600. Yeah. Um, we weren't as into the 7800 last year mm. um, because I didn't have an operational one. So we're going to be playing some 7800 games Excellent. maybe we haven't played before. That's really when cool. When we go through them. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And I think get it's really nice because it's hard for everyone to play every game. But if we at least get the opportunity to touch on them, mm -hmm. then at least you can see us playing it and yes. judge for yourself, you know, if, if something's interesting. And, yeah. yeah. So... It's, you're not going to be voting on all the games that came out because there are hundreds of them. <laughs> and we have some great yeah. volunteers who have gone through these games and played them for you mm. and eliminated the uh, ones that are okay mm. and uh, have boosted up the ones that are the best. So what you're going to be voting on is the top six in every category mm. that they think is super awesome. So this is the nomination committee who've been um, playing through all these games for the past two weeks. And now that's done. They've picked their top six. And we'll be revealing those top six next Friday, or this Friday, mm -hmm. in a couple days. And the categories, we've greatly expanded the categories this year because we want to honor uh, a ton of different games. Um, so we have 15 categories, up from 9 or 10 last year. Um, so we have Best 2600 Homebrew Original and Best 2600 Homebrew Port. So we've now actually separated the port games from the original games um, because we want to show off the people who make come up with their own creative ideas mm -hmm. from the people who adapt maybe awesome arcade Existing games. Ar ideas, yeah. Yeah, arcade games or, or games from another platform mm -hmm. because they are fairly distinct. And I think there's something interesting and different about developing both of those types of games. Like with it's, a port, yeah. you're, you're kind of... You're, you're stuck almost with what yes. people expect well you're stuck with what's expected and but you're dealing a... with a different system yes. so so those yes. are different challenges than an original game where maybe you can work around some of those problems right so so there, there's they have different challenges i think yeah there's yeah. the expectation of a game that somebody's played so there's a very high expectation there when is. you're making yeah. a port but there's also kind of all the the materials are done for you. The, yeah. the sound, the graphics, they're not done for you, but there's a template, let's say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then original, there's no expectations, right? You can make it look however you want, yeah. sound however you want, yep. and that's just the way it is. And so you don't... <laughs> cats are batting at each yeah, other over there. Yeah, they're, they're just... They're fighting. <laughs> they're having a showdown. I wish they'd do it on camera. Hey, cause... sale inspector. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Yes. Um, and then we wanted to celebrate the... Uh, what if I ported my own game? <laughs> From another machine. It's I think still it would te technically be a port. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's under the definition, it is still a port. Yes. Because they're you're working from something else. Yeah. It didn't start from scratch. Yeah. Um, then we wanted to celebrate the smaller games because they seem to be in their own category um, because they don't have a lot of room for levels, for yeah. graphics, for sound, but you can put a lot of gameplay in them. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we uh, we did have an under 4K before, but now we've broken that out into originals and ports as well. Okay. And there, there are a lot of 4K, under 4K ports. 4K and under, mm -hmm. let's say. Um, a lot. Well, <laughs> a lot. Oh, they said for something else. Um, then we've got, then we break it out into graphics for completed games. Mm. And music and sound for completed games. Mm. And that's separated out into ports as well. Okay. Um, it used to be just all games, but... We've separated everything out to port mm. and original. Mm. Because with graphics, it's the same thing. You are adapting from somebody else's graphics, mm. or you're coming up with their, your own original ones, and that's quite different. The same with sound. You're working from somebody else's music. And you're trying to sound. emulate it as best as possible with that system. Right. So and there's yeah. expectations. Yeah. Um, then we have Atari 2600 packaging, mm. which includes like the cartridge art, you know, the box art, this is a 7800 game, so it's not a 2600 game. Um, anything that's inside, like the manual, um, the box art, sometimes people put in extra things, like like stuff like this. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, but that, that one was a hack, and we don't, we don't include hacks, unfortunately. <laughs> um, uh, what else? Like little feelies, 
you know, yeah, that's a, that would be called a feely. Squishies. Squishies yeah. Yeah. or fun extras. Yeah. Um, then we have the work in progress categories, mm. which you've also now broken out into original and port. Yes. And that is games that are games that are not done yet. They're still being worked on, but there's some great ones out there and it's great to highlight those. Mm -hmm. um, so we have those. And then we have the 7800, which we have added uh, an extra category for. So we used to just have just all 7800 games. Um, but now we have work in progress 7800 games because mm -hmm. there's been a lot of development in the 7800 yes. um, category. And that's it, it kind of happened that I upgraded my 7800 at the out well same for you. time. Yeah. That <laughs> there was a lot of new games emerging yeah. and now it's it's going crazy because the concerto just came out as well. So there's a really easy way to test on mm. actual hardware for people. Which is really cool. Yes. And we have the Atari 8-bit slash 5200 homebrew mm. category, which is the same as last year. I've combined them because they share similar architecture, slight variations, especially in the joystick control. But they're very, very similar. And really, there's one guy who does 5200 games. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, he puts out one just about every year mm. and... That's it. Some people adapt games to the 5200, mm. but original, like new games, there's just like one guy who yeah. works on it. <laughs> who does a lot of new games. Yeah. That's cool, though. Uh, we wanted to include line poop in every zookeeper box, but Albert nixed that idea for some reason. <laughs> you might have trouble with the border, um, oh, shipping it overseas. Yes. With yes. Technically, poop. would that count as fertilizer? And then, then, yeah. then you then know. There's trouble with that. The CIA yeah. might look at you a little. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Captain Classic. I like the original port split. Really need different criteria to judge. That is entirely correct. Like, mm. There is a distinction. Like uh, mm. a port should try its best to emulate the original. Mm. And there's expectations of that. It's like, oh, it doesn't control the same or things don't move the same or it's too slow or too fast. Like we were playing Cubert. Right? Yes. Yeah. And the original Cubert on 2600 is just molasses yeah. it's, it's so slow it feels slow when you flip between them like the moment i started playing the the new version yeah i was like oh this it's is, fast it moves boom, a lot boom, better boom, boom, yeah boom. it was really smooth an yeah. original game doesn't have anything to judge against yeah so it's it's a very different and we thought <laughs> breaking that out would help a lot with the judging because mm -hmm. it's hard to compare oh how good is this original versus how good is this port and port compared to the arcade or an nes game or whatever it's 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 very different. Um, and then we have the Lifetime Achievement Award. And that is subjective. It's arbitrary. And we've assigned that task solely to the nomination Nation committee. committee. Yeah. Because the nomination committee is made up with a, of people that have been around this uh, community mm -hmm. a very long time. Mm -hmm. They know people. They know history of things. Um, so we've we compiled a list of people that are in the community that they've suggested and they voted on it and uh so we'll see who that is on january on february 6th <laughs> it is done now yeah. it is voted <laughs> i know who it is but nobody else will oh he so likes you love 6th. to say that i know <laughs> you guys don't know so, i know the secrets <laughs> i do want to thank the nomination committee several people are in uh in here in the chat yeah now, I'll, I'll thank them again on february 6th properly and mm. list all their names but yeah. um I want to thank them right now because mm. they did a lot of work and a lot of slogging through tons, of, like hundreds, mm. hundreds of games. It's just incredible. Um, so those are all the categories. Actually, I'll post that into the chat so you guys can take a look at it as well. And you can discuss things there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll keep that updated with information and links to voting when it happens on Saturday, Friday, this Friday, three days. <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three yeah. days. Yeah. Um, okay. What else do we have in the news? That is very exciting. Um, and it's all coming together. Uh, the High Score Club, um, which is a competition on the Atari Age forums, mm -hmm. is starting up soon. Mm -hmm. uh, it's for 2,600 games. Um, the one I'm going to talk about. There is a 7,800 one as well. Um, but Vocelli, mm -hmm. Vocelli, V O C E L L I. Vocelli? Vocelli. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, cool. <laughs> for the 2600 Home High Score Club, contact me the other day, and they're looking for homebrew developers to submit their games for Season 11. 
um, of the uh, High Score Club because mm. they're going to start up. The high uh, the homebrew games are going to be played sometime in June 2021. Um, so we will be playing those on the show mm. in competition and being having our asses handed to us for sure. <laughs> hey, VH, let's see. Yeah, Team Originals for the win. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he's all about the. Has VH said C done? No, he does all original yeah. games. I mm -hmm. think he's done uh, endless runners, but that's a genre. He's not yeah, no, it's not. Specific. It's not a port. Yeah, yeah. I mean, endless runners do have very similar. They're, they're very similar functionality. But, but they're I guess. not yeah. direct ports. Yeah, like, it's like Flappy Bird, but hmm, if you're making a thing that goes up and down, is it a port of Flappy Bird, or does that's it have to be true. a bird? It's it's it's, true. it's difficult. Yeah. It's difficult. Um, so the post says uh, we're going to play about three homebrew games. Um, I thought this went great in season ten. They did it last time. Mm. Um, please send me the bin file and a private PM. If you created a game I want it played on the High Score Club, please PM me. Nice. Uh, if you know somebody who created a game and would not mind if we featured the game, game have them PM me. Mm. Also, all homebrew games will have full points this season. I think they didn't uh, count them as full games mm. uh it was like half points or something um so i got a couple points i think <laughs> but i didn't play the full season because there's a lot of games and i mm. think they do one a week oh which that's is, yeah which is which a is a lot yeah, yeah if you can fit it in great but not you know, always we're about homebrew <laughs> so we're playing yeah, the homebrew that's fair that's fair um i bought a couple more things for um modding games mm -hmm. modding systems not games oh my god don't mod games um <laughs> uh chip puller very nice. So I'm going to practice on some dead cartridges. Yeah. Pull the chips Rip out. Rip some chips off of some cartridges. Yeah. Yeah. See if I can do a better job than <laughs> yep. the utter destruction that happened last time. That sounds dangerous. This is going to help as well. Some de desoldering braid. Yep. Because you were right now. saying it absorbs the solder when it's, when yeah, it's melted. You heat it up and it goes, just sucks it right in. Because before I was doing um, solder sucker. Yeah, it, it only works if you had, oh, have we, suction, and it didn't work. For we him. were getting mad at each other. He, I was Arr. trying to help him, and and we were just like, "You're doing it wrong." Blah, blah. No, it wasn't working out very well. I don't think. No, and no. I bought some um, electrical tape. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> oh my god, um, this this brand it's is off gassing at the moment. <laughs> recommended by Nathan Strum. Yeah. Um, so it should be really good for taping up stuff. Yeah. Um. So that'll be for future projects. Mm. Probably my next one might be the Intellivision for an RGB. Mm. Um, but I don't know. I've got a bunch of different projects. I've got a Raspberry Pi project. Mm. I've got a Game Boy project. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rehousing it. Yeah. With all new... I mean, not new a new screen? I don't think it's a new screen, but a new cover for the screen. A new okay. external, new buttons. Mm -hmm. um new battery i think mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. um and a replacement of the cartridge um mechanism for an nes mm -hmm. but most of those are those last two are not really soldering i don't think too much no but the uh, intellivision is more mechanical yeah. yeah let's not forget the 2021 harmony games that starts a month after the homebrew awards yes so dan adopts the winners mm -hmm. from the atari homebrew awards mm -hmm. and he has his own competition as well. Very nice. Um, yeah. For high scores. Nice. So there's, there's actually a fair amount of high score competitions. There's I think also that's one that fun. That's happens cool. on Facebook as well. Oh, yeah. It's separate. It's, I can't remember what that one's called. High score something. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a, a lot. If you like playing games and getting high scores, if you need the excuse. Esther Mirrors 2008, yeah. you, I'm sure he's a part of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> he destroys. Yeah. Yes. Hey, I'm Revenge. Sure, I'm sure if you need the excuse to play a game, that's a good excuse. Like, oh, well, there's a high oh. score club this this week. You oh, know, yeah. Might as, well, might as well give it a try. And, and it gets you playing games yeah. that you maybe not have given a chance to. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, how do I get this extra 10,000? Yeah. How do I get to this next step? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't read the names in the chat. No, and I you neglected didn't. And last, you should. In the end of last show yeah, to do And you that forgot too. to do that too. I remember Just too that. excited. We noticed it after you turned it off. <laughs> yeah, very sad. Yeah. Uh, Captain Classic, Arena Foot, Revenge, Dan AVC, Esther Mirrors 2008, Flackets, VHZC, uh, Carl G, Nathan Strum, Arena Foot, Salient Spectre, uh, 2600. Oh, I welcome. hope your daughter's doing okay. <laughs> Oh, that's he just said his sad. daughter's sick and hitting the keyboard. So oh. <laughs> we'll be playing uh, 2600's game tonight. Oh, nice! Uh, which is the uh, bomb 
Oh, what is bomber it? guy oh, or whatever it's, it is. We're small right now. Oh no. Uh, bomb bomb hero. Okay. That's okay. People yeah. can read that. Yeah. Uh, bomb hero. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, just mentioned ground trooper. Arm scar coder. Yeah. Nutty O three. Excellent. Alan the fur. Uh, Danny, we see. Already said your name. And Excellent. whoever else is lurking. Whoever we've missed. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna play Uniwars. Uniwar S, not Uniwars, because the U and the W and the S are capitalized. Yes. Uniwar S. Yes. And the S is actually very separated in the arcade. Oh, um, is it? Okay. In, in his, in uh, Bob DeCrescenzo's version, he's compacted it all together. So okay. it looks like Uniwars, but it's Uniwar S. Gotcha. Um, so this is an update. We had the exclusive world premiere last time mm. of this game, and he has added a ton of stuff. He's already a release candidate now. Mm. Um, so it's he's just fixing bugs at this point. So he's very, very fast. Is it just me or the short freezes? It is just you. We're not dropping even one frame or one anything. So <laughs> um, check your connection. <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> um, so this was first posted November 18th, 2020. Excellent. Uh, this build is from January 12th. Today he's mm. he was trying to get an update um, done for us today. Excellent. Is this shadowing you? I don't know. Just a little it? bit. Yeah, you know, bring it out a little bit. Okay. There you go. Um, yeah, he was trying to get one to fix a couple bugs. They weren't major, huge bugs. A um, couple bugs in the two-player, but we'll get to that. Um, it's a 32k game. He has made a ton of games. Mm. We're gonna have to get to all of these eventually. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to read them this time, <laughs> but subsequent uh, shows that feature him, I don't think I'll read all these games. <laughs> Armor Attack, actually, let's, let's bring up the, the screen here. Not a TV tray, an arcade <laughs> stick holder. That's right. It's official. Like, this was purpose bought yes. for this. Well, actually... To be honest, we were just uh, walking through Ikea, and I'm like, hey, that's perfect. Oh, you okay? <laughs> it looks like it's getting a little lower. It, fe it feels second. like it's dropping a little bit. Is it blocking your view uh, at all? It, I feel like it should be higher. <laughs> okay. It seems a little low. It's usually a little higher than that. Yeah, I think it was just falling down. Falling down? Okay, there we go. Okay. Mike is out of the way now. Here's the list. Armor Attack 2, Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, Astro Blaster, Astro Fighter, Baby Pac-Man, Bentley Bears Crystal Quest. Uh, Crazy Bricks, Failsafe, Frenzy with Berserk, Junior Pac-Man, Meteor Shower, Moon Cresta, Miss Pac-Man 320, Miss Pac-Man Twin, Pac-Man 320, Pac-Man Collection, Pac-Man Collection 40th Anniversary Edition, Pac-Man Plus 320, Pluto's, Rip-Off, Scramble, Sirius, Space Duel, Space Invader 7800, Super Circus Atari Age, Super Pac-Man, and Uniwar S. Wow. This is quite a bit. That's quite that's quite a, a lot of, catalog. <laughs> a lot of Pac-Man. Yes, which is good, because I enjoy Pac-Man quite a bit. So. And we yeah. have a bunch of his games oh, here nice. that we're going to be getting to. Yeah, eventually, Here's the Pac-Man sure. collection. Ooh. Junior Pac-Man. Nice. Uh, Super Pac-Man. Uh, Baby Pac-Man, Pac which we still that's have to play. Game. Yeah, I'm I guess looking we forward to that. It, yeah. uh, Bentley Bears uh, Crystal Quest. Um, this is not his, but this is the only other 7800 boxed game I have. That you have? Uh, Froggy. Froggy, nice. And I'm pretty sure I bought this with the Poke Chip because that would be very silly <laughs> if I didn't. Uh, I like Nathan Strum just said, one of these days Bob will single handedly eclipse Atari's own 7800 catalog. <laughs> pretty much. That's definitely He's just going to take over. Okay, so press fire, please. Um, and go to Uniwar S under today's date. That's not today's date, but it's close enough. Oh, that's it. I put 2020. Oh, 2020. <laughs> I'm like, what? So, Uniwar S. Um, so bin this. File? Uh, no, 78. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if bins work, but I don't think they do. Mm. Yeah, load it up. So, uh, we've got options for players. One two and simultaneous so we will both play it yeah at some point uh, i've got easy hard and normal mm -hmm. and we've got three and five lives so i would start on normal five yeah i think that's yeah. what we did last time because i think normal is a good place mm -hmm. to start because it's not super easy but if you get so he's got all the sounds he had no sounds before 
So he's got lots of great uh, Tia sounds in the game. And I think he's going to stick with Tia. I don't think he's mentioned that he's going to uh, use pokey sounds for it. Carl G says normal's pretty hard for me. They, they do it come down and easy. swoop at you. It is not easy. Ah. I don't know if he terms normal as arcade or not. We'll see. Yeah. Um, so this was an arcade game uh, from 1980. Um, oh, right into it. So hard. The trick in this one is to watch the bullets. Yeah. Because those guys loop around like crazy. And they make it look like they're going crazy and they're going to attack you, but they don't. They don't come down and kill you. So just as long as you avoid the bullets and kind of shoot in their general area, you're going to stay good. So the update since the last time... On January 3rd, he posted, uh, he fixed the high score showing garbage. The auto fire for player two when playing uh, two players simultaneous. Because mm. we did just. Because we noticed that. it was on auto fire, which, which was, was pretty cool. Which is awesome. <laughs> but it was not supposed to be, unfortunately. Oh, well, they've got pokey guys now. Oh, no, I don't so want the pokey guys. You shoot them when they fall down, but you have to avoid them too. So don't pass, don't stick around them. No, 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 no. Pass over them very quickly. Um. Ghost player ship and ghost shot when going back to select or attract mode. I noticed something a little um, odd when I was at the far edge of. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, get him! Is he something to get? I don't know. Ah! <laughs> um, far I right could edge? shoot at the far edge. Right edge? Yeah, let me just. Oh no, maybe I thought Might something. Been... Oh, right, right into, into it. it. <laughs> um. It might have been a bug. Uh, I don't know. It's a hard oh, thing. Oh, what? He just warped. There you go. Oh, oh, he clears it. Oh, that's good. I have no idea how to kill these guys. You have to hit them at the right point, yeah. don't you? When they're opening, is there? Oh, my goodness. That is very challenging. Ah! You know the game is hard even if S. Ramirez 2008 uses easy mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, should I try easy? Uh, yeah, to get to That's show good. all the different yeah. levels. It repeats over, though. Uh, the things he added, continuous dive bomb and mosquito wave, when there are only a few enemies left on the screen. More frequent dive bombing of the mosquito wave. Added a bonus enemy that wipes out the aliens under the player. Yes, just saw yes, that's excellent. That, that really helps a lot because... Yeah. They stay kind of um, he said so. things left sound, but he's added that since. Mm -hmm. Aliens spearing the player ship from below, he's added that. Mm -hmm. Level indicator. Uh, I don't see one, but we'll watch for it. Um, refined bugs level movement. I'm, I'm sure he's added it because he says he's on release candidate now. Um, then on uh, Thursday, the updates are aliens now spearing the player ship from below, which we've seen. Um, refined the bugs level, level three movement. I love the bugs. I do. The slow wings, the, just such great um, design on them. This reminds me of, I guess, Galaga a little bit. It does, yeah, yeah. And Galaga has great graphics. I just love the bright graphics on Galaga. Is there an easy to use 7800 emulator? Uh, the browser, JS7800, <laughs> is really easy. Um, Z and X are the fire buttons, and you just move with the arrow keys. And you just drag and drop, um, I think, at least A78 of uh, uh, files. I don't know if bin files work, but I think they do. Uh, but it does not play every game. But it does have very good audio emulation. I believe it's audio? Yeah. <clears throat> so that's the one I use if I want to just um, load up a game really quick. Um, it looks like it used to be IPM, but it's too close to IBM, so they changed it to IREM, International Rental Electronics Machines. Oh. 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 S. Ramirez says, this game is hard, but I love it. I love shooters from this era. Oh my god, yes. Shooters from this era, oh. you shouldn't have gone after that guy. He's I know, but low. it's it's so hard to hit them if they're not close to you, I find. True. Oh, oh, oh. you got me. Well, we know the spear guys work. Yep. <laughs> Um, refined the first mosquito level one movement. Now they move more from side to side when dive bombing the player. Refined the difficulty levels. Added the player shot and player explosion sound. And then on Sunday, uh, two days ago, he released uh, release candidate one. 
and he just said everything's code complete it's just bug fixes let me know what you guys think and if you find any bugs uh then six hours ago he posted uh, six hours from when i copied that so today he posted uh release candidate two he fixed a uh, shot lagging behind the player flying enemy suddenly shifts over horizontally when it's the last few enemies on a level last enemy kills a player sh player and ship is not lost oh <laughs> Yeah, to kill those guys, it's so challenging. It's so, like, you just... One, they're moving. Two, they're shooting at you. Three, they're rotating, so they're not vulnerable at all times. So it just takes yeah. a lot to get them. <gasps> Beach at Sea says, I've used JS and A7800, and the colors look really different between them. Which color is close to the actual hardware? I've been reading so much about color on the 7800, there's so many threads about it and realistically i don't think there is an actual color for 7800 judging by everything i've read oh no because there's a color for when you first boot it up and then there's okay. a color for when it's warmed up well it changes over time so it it's not changes. it's not like i suppose you could have arguments over which is the correct color like the boot up color or the warm yes. warmed up color right so and then there is well is your tv perfectly calibrated well that's a whole other thing it is yes. but you have to take that into consideration too so there's tons of threads in the atari age forum of people posting their screenshots of their their uh 7800s warmed up and their, and their 7800s cool that's really interesting and their uh pvm monitors they're, they're like reference monitors for uh video editing so is a wide wide range of what is the proper color for 7800 so you see a lot of people when they're developing their games going well it looks like this when it's cool and it looks like this when it's warm it's a little too orange when it's warm so i'm going to take it back a notch and and make it a little bit oh, less right a little bit less orange a little bit closer to red so it sounds like a big pain in the ass <laughs> trying to refine the color for your game in the 7800 so how'd you do? You do? Go? Not um, terrible. I made it past the first wave, which I think is better than I did last yes, time. Yes, so. I want to play single player. Yeah. Okay. Do you want the? Uh... No, don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ah. Play, player one. It just. I don't know what I picked. Probably it easy. Just if you double. Just, it if double you just... uh, bounced the, the oh, button. Probably easy if it was what I. I had. have five what five lives. So five lives on easy. easy. Five That's lives. what I had, unless you accidentally flipped it to. Can you get your foot off the cable? Sorry? So it's not... Is it bugging you? Well, I like just don't want you... like a cat rubbing back and forth? A little know? bit. Yeah. Plus, I don't want you getting up and then tripping and pulling oh, my I, cable. I don't think that would happen, but sure. Well... Where did the cats come? Oh, I forgot to bring treats down to entice them back downstairs. Right, last episode, you yeah. you cheated. And, I did. Um, brought down the treats, and they were all about oh, that. Oh, they were pretty happy. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was terrible. <laughs> VH, that's see. All the temperature thing is pretty annoying indeed because sometimes you make some nice blue water in your game and after a while you, you've got a frogish green pond. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. It's, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting that that's, that's a big issue with uh, this system. And, I, it, and it also has, there's an adjustment inside the 7800. Oh, to adjust the color. So too. it also depends on your adjustment setting mm -hmm. on the, your 7800. Ugh. <laughs> I went right for that. I was like following it. So, is this warmed up? Because it seems more green now. Uh, I don't know what the timing is for warmed up and yeah. cool. Because it, I, I could swear these looked more beigey. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. These guys, or maybe I'm just thinking of the first level. But anyway. Maybe. Come here. It's pretty calm at the end of the level. Mm hmm. Especially the rotating guys. They're just kind of. No. Nope. Oh, I got him. Nope. You really want to get those guys, don't you? Well, yeah, because they're 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 annoying. But um, having having the ship, oh, oh. Got him. <laughs> having the ship that that um, resets the screen is excellent. That's really good. I don't know. Excellent, if that's excellent, excellent. His note makes it seem like it, it didn't is? exist it... in the arcade, oh, okay. but I'm sure it did. He wouldn't. Doesn't sound like something that he would add. No, maybe. No, still. 
Do you have to shoot in between? Yes, I think you do. Or do you have to shoot a certain color? No, I think you have to hit in between. You have to time it perfectly. Oh, they're just, they move around. And it looks like they move in coordination with you. Got them. Nice. Next pattern. Which is a repeat of the first pattern. Mm -hmm. Is it just three levels? Four, 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 four levels? Yeah. So it's this it's level. It's this, the swirly spaceships. Yeah. Um, the bugs. The bugs, and then the... Um, round rotating. The round shielded ships. Okay. That's from what I what I can tell. Yeah. Warp. There's, there's one thing that bugs me about this game. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure it's in the arcade because it wouldn't be yeah, the game itself. Yeah. Yeah, the arcade game itself is the way it fires. Mm. In there's there's multiple different ways you can fire in in a game. One is you have as many shots as you want. Mm. And you just keep firing, and you can have auto fire too. Um, this doesn't have auto fire, and you get one bullet. Then there's games, which is not this one. Oh my god. Um, where if you fire again, it retracts your original bullet, your original bullet disappears, and you it starts from scratch, right? And that's very helpful if you miss, right? If you're like, oh, who cares about that bullet? I'm just going to fire another one. This one, you fire, and you literally, you have to wait until your bullet hits the end of the screen hits the end of the screen before you can press the button again mm -hmm. so if you fire and then fire again it does nothing yeah and you have to press it again yeah to fire it so i'm constantly finding that i um am not firing i'm missing yeah firing opportunities yeah because i'm oh my god they're so low get up or move over here <laughs> I'm missing opportunities because I'm misfiring. Are they poking randomly or is it on a timer? I bet it's on a timer because that would be very unfair. No, it seems kind of random. Like so, he's gonna go I think I think up. they come after Damn. yeah, like like that guy stabbed upwards like three times before the other guy did. It, uh, it seems kind of random. But do they poke and then poke again quick or is there no. like a timeout? Uh, it, there seems to be a break, but not always. Sometimes they're more frequent. So. Mm. It's kind of random. Because that'd be kind of a cheap death if they poked up and then you went across them and they poked you again immediately. Mm. So I'm not. I mean, it's it's what the arcade is, right? I'm sure mm. the firing mechanism. Yeah. But it bugs me. Yeah. I, I just don't. It's like not. It. It's not as as nice as other types yeah. of games that way. Yeah. But I don't know if it would be a better game if it had the bullet retraction system. Mm. Where if you miss, you can f fire again. Gorf retracts your shots, which yes. I find frustrating because if yes. you're not used to it, you're like... I'm not hitting anything. I, I, I love smashing <laughs> buttons, and then I realize, oh, I would have hit that if I hadn't hit the button, and then it yes. retracted my shot, which... So I think you just... It's just whatever you get used to. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I just have to get used to Yes. Yeah. It's like I Every game like this is like that. You have to kind of get used to the, the mechanics of it. So there's a pattern, um, a delay. So you know about every second or there's three quarters of a second, there's a shot. So don't fire before that. Like, yeah. And if I go faster, it'll jam up, right? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I couldn't get to that guy because there's already a guy there. Fun shooter. Oh, very fun. And I like these ships. I, I really like the look of them. Yeah. Um, okay. It is true you can go pretty crazy on one that's low, but it's so dangerous. Yeah. Nope. Oh, yeah. See? But it's trade-off. Ah, they're still there. Oh, there's my savior. Come back here, little... Looks like a dude with his legs... Hands on his legs. And he's kind of sitting squat. Mm -hmm. Where'd he go? He'll come back. And he's got a hat they on his head. They disappear and they come back, yeah. Is it a spaceship or a floating guy? It looks like a spaceship. It looks a bit like a... a ah. What do you call that? Um, <laughs> like the pods that come down after the... Oh, uh, yeah. Um, 
like spaceship pods where, yeah. where the astronauts are in, where they land. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, damn it. Well, at least they're on the extreme sides. There we go. This is definitely the longest level. <laughs> Maybe I should have played easy, or normal. Captain Classic, favorite 2 way directional shooter for the arcade would probably be Galaga. For That's the 8-bit eight, eight system, it would probably be Threshold. Threshold. Never owned a 7800, so... I haven't played Threshold. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know that one. But I do like... It. Both of us like Galaga. Galaga's oh, a great yeah. game. Ah, uh, dangerous. Get up. I wonder if these guys are on a shooting pattern, too. They seem to be. Fire. Yep. So you can kind of be safe. And then he's going to fire. fire. Okay, that's good. They do um, go towards you. Uh, I don't know, because when mm -hmm. I'm firing at him, he kind of dodges and mm -hmm. goes away. Not him, the shot. Oh, the shot. The shot drifts towards you. Uh, does every shot drift? I think a lot of them seem oh, yeah, to. Yeah, look at those. They're all going towards the center. Yeah. Interesting. Heat seeking. Heat seeking. They are a bit heat seeking. They're heat nudging. <laughs> they're heat seeking the, I'd have to evade them like actively oh yeah no they 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 know where you were because if I change direction Ooh, they don't yeah that's true they knew where they know where you were where when you they start. were fired yeah killer king is that what it's called killer king mm. so he is a guy with a hat he's a king <laughs> it's not his ship much what's it called a pod? Is it a pod? Is it a module? I bet it's a module. module. I don't know. Escape module? Because <laughs> they're not I, escaping. I, I can't. No, yeah, I can't. There is a name. I, I know there's a name, but it's just it slipped my mind. Okay, we'll play two players after this. I love the look of these guys. Yeah. They're so cute. Oh, yeah. They're good. I like how their wings flap. Yeah. Flap, flap, flap. There is a moth like. Um, a C64 game. It was mm -hmm. also on Atari 8 bit as well. That I absolutely love and played the hell out of. Mm -hmm. And these bugs remind me of those dudes. Um, I'll definitely play it when we play uh, have an 8 bit day. Well, it's not it's not a homebrew, so. Maybe somebody can remake it for the 7800 and they can put it on the show. I can't remember the name of it. Ah! Mm. Ah, he dropped below me and I didn't notice. Okay, we're going to play two players. I stabbed you immediately. Sorry, Tari Vox. You're getting unplugged. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Need those two controllers plugged in. Yeah. What was that? Just my uh, TV slash arcade tray. Fuzzy. There we go. It's all fuzzy all of a sudden. What is? The screen? No, it's better now. Oh. Weirdness. You tapped okay. it or something. Oh. Why did I press up and it started? I don't know. Can you set it? Simultaneous? Yep. Medium. No, Medium? Not easy. Normal. Yeah. Five lives. That's good. Okay. Can you move? Can you? I cannot move. Uh-oh. Oh, and dead. <laughs> Quite possibly. This you might have to game. reboot it. Oh. Yeah. Started with two joysticks Maybe. in? Yeah, that would make Seems sense. Seems a bit weird, but... Threshold probably the most resembles Mega Mania. Oh. Features five, 25 or so waves with different ships to behave differently. 25, that's awesome. Yeah, load it up. Uh, okay, set it to two Metal Lunar not moving apparently has its advantages. <laughs> yes, it does. So that's a bug. Um, where if you Goodness. plug in a second joystick while well, the game's already started. Uh, the second player cannot move. If it's actual bug and not my system. I don't know why it would be my system. 
You died twice already? Yeah, I know, terrible. Oh my god! Didn't even see one of them. The first one was really early. First shot that came down, you went right for it? Yeah, apparently. Um, I think I said one time that this joystick was not too bad for the 7800. I completely take that back. It's terrible. I hate this joystick. Yep. Hate it. Yep. It is not a fun joystick to play with. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I, I thought I had him. So did I. Ah! Oh my god. There's a big row of them here. No. I gotta get over there, I think, at some point. They kind of move a little bit, don't they? They kind of march back and forth. There Got them. Go. They're still there, though. Not until you finish this level do they disappear. Oh, or you get a ship. Yeah. You got a murder ship. Yeah, hopefully that guy comes. They're coming towards you a bit. Ah, oh, I distracted. So I'm the slightly... Oh my god! I'm the slightly purpler guy? <laughs> Was there a two-player option in the arcade? That's a good question. Because the, the colors are not super distinct. Um, because I don't want to get <laughs> stabbed. Ah, I That's see. That's why I'm over there. Crowd in my... Cramp in my there style. There go. I can go move back to the side. Oh, now. I see what he was saying. Between levels, your shot kind of veers off your ship. But he's fixing that in the new um, update. He was working on it, but he didn't quite oh, get it completed by tonight for tonight's show. He almost got it done. Oh, warp. Apparently VH that's he's very slow tonight. <laughs> Painkillers? Pain oh my. Hope you're not feeling too bad. Yeah, I think he was ill recently. Mm. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit better. He's on painkillers, so <laughs> he's feeling better than before he took painkillers, yeah. I'm sure. What is the oh. point of taking them? Ah! Oh my oh, god! Oh my goodness! What coming ah down, coming down like crazy. Oh no, you're done. Leave him there. He'll come back. He'll come over to us. There oh we go. God. Oh, don't split up, you stupid things. Yeah, that's not good. So is the maximum three on the bottom, I think? Yeah, uh, it doesn't look like it ever exceeds three. At least on normal. We'll play We'll play hard next, uh, next game. Ah! Oh, I ran right into it. I'm done my last guy. So am I. Ah. Oh, that was close. Oh, my finger's getting fatigued. This I know joystick. it's terrible. Those joysticks are oh. horrible. I have to play with my left hand. Do you? Because my right hand gets so fatigued from pressing... <gasps> oh, other, I ran into that. My other mm. hand gets so fatigued from pressing the button. Another one came over. Oh, they're doubling up. It's like, oh, one mm. disappeared. Nope. nope. They're all there. Oh. Just, bitch. <laughs> Just. Just. I imagine the quality being good. The quality is fine. Like, it responds really well. The buttons are a bit stiff, I find. Yeah. Um, the joystick is fine. Yeah. It's the ergonomics of it. Yeah, is the ergonomics terrible. are really bad. Let's put it on hard. Oh, you want to try hard? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if there's more guys that come in the bottom. Oh Ooh, my god. Oh, that's a lot of shot. Oh my god. Stay away from the clumps of guys coming down. Agreed. Oh. Cornered you. Yeah, I know. Ah! Oh. I almost got him, but. These guys start like oh super my early. Oh god! Yeah, they do. The shots are crazy. Yep. There's four. I think it's five guys I read. Oh my god! I gotta get out of that club. Oh. Oh my goodness! It's so hard. <laughs> ah. Dodging is hard. Ah! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh. oh. So good. Okay. Come on. Come on. 
Wow. Whew. Start dropping guys. Yeah. Ah. If you think you're good at this game, put it oh. on hard and you will be definitely challenged. Oh, oh my god. Now we have to deal with these guys. And they drop them too. Yeah. I think everything except for the first level drops them. Oh, you got one. Oh, it's coming down. It only went up to four so far. It didn't go up to five. They kind of stopped dropping them at four. Get four. Shots. Oh, I knew I ran it right into that. Oh, my nose is really cheap. <laughs> um, I don't know what that means. It means something. Ah! ah! Oh, it was you. Oh, that was me. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh, you beat me. Oh, yeah, but quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> no epics, oh. XG. X 500 XJ, that's for sure. Um, the mm. joystick on the 500 XJ is awesome. The mm. button is not good. Oh. If you need to fire a lot, yeah, your your finger's done mm. after a very short period mm. of time. Very awesome. Mm -hmm. Great updates. Um, I think there's only a couple bugs that people have found. Um, that's in the forums. He's already working on them. And he almost got them done for tonight. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you're playing some more. That's okay. Okay. Uh, so, we're on to the next game, which is, I always forget because I always think it's Bomberman, but it's not Bomberman. It's Bomb Guy, Bomber Hero. Um, so, Bomber Hero, we have an exclusive work in progress, if you want to load it up. It's by Anthony Quinlan, 2600, who's in the chat, or was in the chat. It's first posted January 7th. It is very, very new. Uh, it's 140. Mm. You exited out. It's 144 I, I hit K. down, but uh, apparently not oh. well enough. <laughs> there we go. Uh, other games he's made. Bass Fishing Tournament. Bomber Hero 7800. Captain Comic 7800. Sim Sibby set for the 7800. Street Rod 2600. And Test Drive for the mm -hmm. 7800. Um, an older build of this is in the Atari forums. I'm sure he'll post this one soon. Um, he wanted to get this uh, for us. Wait. Because uh, I can't see it. There we go. Boom. Okay, so it just loaded straight into this. Okay. So you know how to play Bomberman. No, you don't. Um, so Bomberman... I didn't hit anything, though. You didn't hit a button? No. How did it put a bomb on the screen? I don't know. Just over time, the bomb showed up, so... Uh, oh, really? Yeah, so maybe it kills you. Oh. Uh, reset. Are you pressed? Don't press anything. I'm not pressing don't anything. Touch. Is this... Is that the... Just... Yeah. Just don't touch switch? anything right now. The is, bomb's already there. What is happening? Weird. Yeah, that is Maybe because the second joystick's in? Oh, maybe take that out. Yeah. Something, something weird something. is going on there. Yeah, mm -hmm. see, the bomb's already there. And exploded. Mm. Let's load that again. Weird, weird, weird. It is very early, this game. So, yeah. there's bugs. I have a few bugs. Oh, no. Be right back. Hold up. You broke your nail. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's try this again. Loading, 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 loading. No bomb, and a bomb. No idea what you did. Okay, here you go. It's working now. Hmm? What I did? Still plugged in. I blame it on you. Me? Because the cats aren't around. Uh, Bomberman uh, is a strategic maze-based video game franchise originally developed by Hudson Soft and currently owned by Konami. The first game in the series was released in Japan December 20th. Um, Oh yeah, we're going to show the, a video of the NES version. Um, I'll let you play this for a little bit. And then we'll take a look at the original version, which was originally released on NES slash Famicom. Um, so it was posted and he originally said, so probably time to post a development thread to get things rolling. The game is inspired by Bomberman on the NES and is a very, very early development build. So I've added just added... Uh, dithering-like effect to this build for the background tiles. 
I like it, but others I'll let others to be the judge of that. Yeah, the background's nice. Nice little uh, ashy green. If you hold down the button, it carries the bomb. I don't know if you you probably don't want to do that. Okay, you have no. to find the door now. Oh, there's a door somewhere. Yeah. Um, the any any lists. What the, I exploded. The, did you put a bomb on top of yourself? No. Okay. No. <laughs> That was weird. Oh, what is happening? Now there's automatic bombs. Like when I press reset, you've already got a bomb on you. How do you, how do you drop it? Uh, you don't. Ooh. Yes, S Ramirez, thank you. That was crazy. The bomb went off and killed me. <laughs> I'm like, that was interesting. It's like it was the, a trick bomb. It's like it's you thinking, think you've dropped it, but you're at, you're actually cradling cradling it in your arms. It's like it's thinking the button's pressed. Oh, it's not it's not that switch then. Look, I don't have a joystick. Do it again, lol. That <laughs> bomb <laughs> <laughs> had a crazy radius. Uh, uh, no, see, it's starting. That's the weird. Game. There's no joysticks plugged in right now. <laughs> oh, none. Yeah. Oh no. So after a while, Something it just funny. starts putting a bomb down. Anyway, it it did work for a while. Mm -hmm. And it seems a decent uh, proof of concept. It seems to work. Um, the radius of the bomb is only in the square around yeah, the hero. So it's not like corridors. Like Bomberman, it usually gets bigger and bigger. Well, and then... you, you get power-ups. Yeah, power-ups. But it only goes one square in every direction, the bomb. Yeah, at first. Yeah, at first. That's how it works in the original. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is the NES version of the game. Mm. Um, or the Famicom. This is a very high level where he can walk through bricks mm. <laughs> and drop bombs. Um, actually, we can probably put the sound on. walk through bricks. <laughs> bit um so you can um drop multi bombs at first you start with one bomb and then you get more power-ups there's the door to go to the next level so lots of power-ups there's extra bombs mm -hmm. extra distance for your bombs mm -hmm. there's you can use another button to set off the bombs remotely so you can set them off whenever you want mm -hmm. there's skates to speed you up um else is there i don't because because there's so many bomber mans <laughs> yeah there's, different versions you get different power-ups on different bomber mans um so yeah walking through brick seems like super cheating it does seem super <laughs> cheating <laughs> yeah need some work on the box collisions yeah it um mm. it sometimes destroys half blocks Okay, so we're gonna... Captain Glass, he must have a Game Genie code enabled. Shouldn't be able to walk through walls. Ever? Oh. That would make sense. That's really cheating. Yeah. And I think there's uh, 50 levels in the original yeah. game. They're probably trying to show all the later levels, Maybe. which is, might be why they're walking through walls. But what's the point of showing it if you're just completely cheating? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I, can see, I can see being immune to the bombs, but like walking through walls mm -hmm. does not show off the game very well. I don't know. I guess he wants to get through it quick. Um, so let's go back to the game, and I'll play it this time for a very short period of time, apparently. Kick and punch were added to the SNES version. Oh, oh yeah, you, that's right. You can kick the bombs towards a direction, mm. which is um, super cool. Did I press the button? Or did I miss it entirely? I missed it. <laughs> so I'll play till it goes crazy. Oh, yes. The CD W uh, version mm -hmm. in the 2600 of Bomberman is really awesome looking. Um, but it uses bus stuffing, which is not completely compatible with all the different um, 2600 systems. It's not compatible with 7800 and the Junior. And it's bad right away. Mm. Uh, what is the problem? It's not this, is it? Do you want to try the other no, controller? No, I've unplugged it. I, yeah. Try okay. the other controller and see if maybe that controller is the issue. 
Maybe. I doubt it, but it's worth trying. It, it is worth trying. Mm. Just so I'm not like... Well, maybe it is the controller. That's very weird. Okay. There is some sound in this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Turn it up a little bit. Okay, so now we can play it for a little bit. I don't think there's he's put any power-ups in it yet. Oh, what just yeah. happened? He apparently went diagonally. <laughs> he touched me. Yeah. Okay, I think you well, want to kind of get them right away. You're going to get punished for that now. And he can both go through the bombs, oh, apparently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make some room make for myself room first. first. So right now there's a bit of left-right wiggly room that you can walk. Slightly through walls, you mean? Yeah. See, you can see that? Oh, yeah. So he hasn't quite sorted that out. Okay. There's a bit of garbage at the bottom of the screen, too. Get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, it also induces difficulty walking. Yes, I've right. noticed that. Yeah, a little because bit. Because you get caught on walls. A little bit. Yeah. But anyway, very early days. Very early stuff. It's, it looks really good, though. Yeah. <laughs> and they keep going. They keep and, going and you, for a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yeah. you carried it. Yeah, you can carry it. I don't think you're supposed to. But right now you can carry the bomb. I have to investigate what's going on with that joystick. That's really weird that it's misbehaving in this game. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe the um, cord is go is a little off. Um, Possibly. Fraying a little at the end there. I do have a joystick tester, which mm. we will try. How about that? Not quite. Mm. He's tricky. Well, they go through the bombs. That's there a problem. You go. They're not supposed to. And you can see it um, breaks half bricks. Yeah. Which is not what you're supposed to do. Oh, really? You have to break. It breaks the whole brick or nothing. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh, this, it is half bricks. Interesting. I think it's the same layout oh, found the as door. before. Um, same yeah. layout every time. So it, it, he hasn't created <sighs> levels then? No, not. Well, I guess it is normally the same layout every time. I kind of like the half bricks. If you, if you put it half and half, it, it, it uh, doesn't completely break through the wall. But if he's going to make a port, you probably want to keep it. Mr. Mirrors, this looks great. I think it does look really good. I the think, graphics I think look it's, great. The movement's great. Yeah. It's early, but it's uh, you can see the potential there. And yes. especially for... There's something about the, the guys, the little sprites, that feels really... Um, They're very cute. Um, like... Konami esque or something. Mm. Oh, I can walk through half a brick apparently. Oh. And I can't explode it. Uh, let's try and get. There we go! It's actually pretty dangerous because it'd be hard mm. to get out. Okay, where are you going? This way? Oh, you're gonna come up? Yep. Yeah, you got him. I just have to find the exit. I think he said he put three levels in. Three? really good so if you want to continue playing i'll read out the rest of the information turbo graphics 16 and pc engine are the same thing yes they are um to do two player gameplay Ooh, that's awesome many 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 more checks as for player location tile location second player location additional bombs item upgrades which will then in turn be needing many more checks move for... move oh it wouldn't move he died him. i got cut on the wall i was yeah. trying to go to the left and wouldn't uh. let me go to the left oh that's annoying uh an exit door for each level along oh, with many levels which <laughs> you gotta do the upper one first oh, yeah you gotta make him oh, escape move. for yourself i hate these joysticks so much um sound as well so he's done more than that Oh, move. So we put a new build. How do you use this joystick? It's horrible. Ugh. Reset, please. It's horrible. The other one was fine. Uh, I think he's getting caught in walls. He's getting caught. It's not oh. the joystick, so don't... No, but I didn't have an issue with the other joystick. I have to die. But I didn't have an issue with the other joystick. That's so weird. And I shouldn't have done that. Ugh. Why do you oh, keep killing in... yourself instantly? No, no, no. Okay, look. Did you press the button again? Yeah. Don't press the button again. No, no, but is I that know. supposed to happen? No, but it does in this build, so don't do it. I'm just saying. 
It's it's early. If you days. hit the button again, you automatically pick up. So that's what killed me last time. But the timer. That's what killed me last reset. time. Doesn't reset. Oh, don't keep pressing the button. Wait no, till no, the no, bomb no. explodes. You know when I was when yeah, but I think what happened was is I hit the button accidentally and then it blew me up because I the oh. bomb jumped into my hand. So that's what uh. killed me. That's that's what happened last time. Dr. Mukow says, woo, the pain line controller strikes again. Oh, Just be horrible. cautious. Just be cautious. No, you get you get on an edge. It's awful. I know. I know. It's awful. You have to be very deliberate oh. right now. Because there isn't a straight path. Definitely the controller. It's it's both the controller and... and Look at this. <laughs> Don't abuse that controller. I will abuse it. I have very few of them. It's terrible. Don't abuse it. <laughs> It's a very specific controller. But why would why? I can't. I can't just buy. Why? <laughs> another seventy eight hundred controller, easy. I have to oh, order them. They're horrible. <laughs> no, no, no. They're uncomfortable. It's the game right now. Is it? Getting stuck on the walls is the game. So no, don't it's not. smack the controller. No, it's not. It is. And I just exploded again. Because he touched you. Did he? Yeah. Okay, you're getting too crazy. I'm getting annoyed with this controller is what's happening. Okay. What are you doing? Why are you restarting? Because you're getting annoyed. So? We're going to test out the joystick. See if the joystick's working? Yeah, the other joystick, because there's a, <laughs> there's a tester. Ed Ladding controller. Well, uh. we can't, because the shipping is insane, and um, the borders are closed, so. <laughs> it's just a terrible controller. So there is a testing uh, utility cart. Go to that. This? Yeah. This? Yep. And joystick test. And press a button. Up, down, left, right. Button, 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 button. Button and up, button, down. That's it? Yeah, there's no second button on this. Yeah, button. I didn't think so. I want to try something, actually. Yeah, there's a wiring issue. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, there is an issue. It's permanently on. Yeah, there is an issue. That's supposed to be up, right? Yeah, when I switch it, it's supposed to be up. Oh. But now it's sticking. Oh, oh. okay. Well, I need to fix this then. We're not going to be using this oh, no. today. Yeah. Mm, That's kind of weird. See, it's not turning off. That's why you have these programs. Hmm. Okay, well... Revenge. Hey, my homebrew is being played. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's helping us. Look, it just yeah. determined that this is broken. There's yeah. something, some wiring or something this. going. Look at this. Look at that end there. Yeah. I feel like that's pulling apart. I had the power supply on my laptop, the laptop that I have over here. Mm. The, um, yeah, that's being unplugged. The plug, the connection between the plug and the cord before it hits the power supply, completely fell apart one day. I got up in the morning and I was moving the laptop and it was plugged in. And then all of a sudden sparks streaked across oh, the carpet God, yeah. because it, it pulled apart, like the actual cord pulled apart. It and was, I didn't even notice it, it, it was, was falling apart. so precisely. S precisely. See, see oh, move horrible. this joystick and see how sensitive it is. See, it's very, Ooh. very nice and sensitive. It's it's totally the game right now. Oh, okay. It's see too see how nice it is? <laughs> yeah, but I was Just getting caught, it. I think because I was going maybe slightly on an yeah. angle. Oh, it was very frustrating. It is um, sensitive. Anyway, so um, Atari 2600. Oh, two. One, two. Yep. One, two. It's an upgrade from the 2600. He said, uh, hi, James. So I had made some progress for a few hours tonight and run out of time. Basically, I had to re write the framework for levels and design them, making sure all the enemy and the trigger points for each level are in the correct place. Still has some bugs that I was trying to stand clear from tonight as you wanted to play. Have at least some gameplay. Although it was hard not to fiddle around with the code as when testing new levels, the bug would show its head. Anyway, the new early dev build is okay for your show and demonstrates the aim of the game. When I compiled the source into 144k ROM, um, so hopefully we'll play in your concerto card, which it did. So thank you very much, Anthony, for um, sending over the early build of a bomb. Oh, I'm going to have to learn the name of this. <laughs> Ten is going for the high score. That's right. Bomb. I can't read it. What's the name of the game? Bomb Dude? 
Bomb Hero. That's right. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next game, which is Night Guy. Um, hero. Night yeah. Guy on board, 30 Squares of Fate. And this is an update. We played it last time when he just put it out. Yeah, it was like really cool. Like he just put yeah. it out. Um, so this has huge updates, tons and tons. And there is a problem with Concerto and his title screen. Okay. Works fine on <laughs> JS7800. Okay. So, oh, nobody saw it. No. Because... The delay? Do you want me to yeah, boot back into it? We're going to reboot it. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> because I do want to show off to um, VHZC um, what it looks like on, mm. on the Concerto. Okay. Because it's, um, it's a little weird. A little weird. So this was first posted December 11th, 2020. This build is from January 3rd, 2021. Um, other games he has made is lots. Roach in Space, Roach in Space 2, Cosmic Boogaloo for the 7800, Canonica, Doremi, Draco, Iran, Night Guy in Low Res World, Castle Days, Night Guy on Board, 30 Squares of Fate. There we go. It's all crazy looking. I don't know. It's kind of inverse. Like yeah. That The white is supposed to be black. Is it? It's supposed to be completely flipped? Actually, I think that's the only thing that's different. Is, is the, the white, white is supposed black. to be black? Yeah. Huh. It's very strange yeah. that it would be like that. Okay. Press the button to start. <laughs> and it is a board game, essentially. Yeah. A which single is... player board game. And you landed on one where it's just an information space. So all the gray ones are information spaces. So press the button to roll, and I think it's between one and four. It's kind of a... So move back and forth and shoot the bombs with other bombs. Yeah. Uh. Um, I did report a bug on this. Um, it's a VHZC. Not a bug. Ah, 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 oh, you ran ah, out of ah, ammo. Oh, I did. Oh, no. I you have find... to get one for one then. Yes. Okay. So you got 13. So don't freak out about getting all the bombs. Just no. make sure you get 20. See, that's good to know. Will it kill you if it lands on no. you? No. You oh. just try to get bombs. Oh. No. Stop. Stop. Stop pressing things. Stop. <laughs> okay. Um, I was trying to explain something and you're like, go. Do, do, do. No, because it's fun. I yes. want to play it. <laughs> um, there's a very, it's very easy to double hit the button. Yeah. Like you fired and if it hits something really quick and you haven't let go of the button yet. It fires again immediately. Oh, it's so a little So you find sensitive. yourself... I've never gotten 20. Oh, okay. Even though I can hit every single time I press the button. Yeah. It doubles fires constantly. Oh, so you um, miss one. Yeah. Mm. Oh, just have to explicit black back in the draw screen then. Oh, so yeah. he assumed... <laughs> he <laughs> what says, the what the hell? hell? <laughs> yeah. He assumed it's black. Yeah, but it's not necessarily. But not necessarily. Um. That's why you have to zero out all your variables and all your things that you, I know for that from the 2600 mm -hmm. never assume something is zero yeah. or anything you have to always like go through them anyway mm, harmony uh, menu sets the background to white revenge see oh yeah that's yeah, funny makes sense. it inherits it from the menu that's really funny okay well now now you know why <laughs> That's yeah. something for developers to know. Yeah. Don't assume the background is black. Is or black. anything is anything. Don't assume anything. No. Always initialize. They always say, assume is you make an ass out of you and me. That's what my grade 5 teacher always always told us. Right. Okay, now you can roll. I've complained directly to VHZC because he's watching. <laughs> uh, that's an information screen. So you've got levels. You've got... Oh. So this, um, you have the option to attack. And you have to press the left button when it's over top the of it. The left button? Yeah. The right button does not do it. I think this is a one-player no, game. It's, it is. You're right. It is the... I'm like, right, left, left. That's right. I'm like, whichever one I'm hitting. You need to break out this? Left. Yeah, sometimes. Not left. <laughs> so you can do as a potion, or you can run. You can see at the top, um, you have one... Uh, the enemy has one hit point left. There we go. Yay, gold! And it's pretty much one for one. No gold. So you do have to watch your hit points. Your yep. other left. <laughs> My other... I'm like... I know, because for a second when you said that, oh, it's the left button, I'm like, isn't it always the left button? And you confuse me. I was like, am oh. I supposed to use the other one? Oh. It's always yeah. the left button. You don't have to tell me it's the left button. Just what? tell me it's the right button. <laughs> it's always the left button. 
You just made me second guess myself there for a second. Because I... <laughs> Your other left. Because I made you think it was something <laughs> other than the default? Yep. Okay. So you won, and you got some uh, experience in gold that counted down. All right. Roll. Toxic fumes. No! Damage you. No damage toxic four. fumes. Now... Yay! Healed! I like the fairy nurse. <laughs> there, I have a bit of an issue as well with consistency in this game. Okay. Uh, some screens, like this, mm -hmm. you have to press the button to continue. Some screens, like, oh, you're playing the bomb game. You don't press the button to continue. It just automatically rolls And over. if you do press the button to continue, you waste a bomb. Because it'll fire the bomb. Oh, I see. So there's inconsistencies within the game that that kind of thing yeah, yeah. so even just to press button to start or something it should always be press or uh, not always be yeah, pressed that's true so it's always yeah. following the same yeah oh bureau back has po po his child to bed <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> oh up down left right oh this is the uh simon says what is it uh they did up first but yeah again with the button You don't have to press button, do you? Or no? And did you have to press button to get into the game? Sorry. Uh, no, that's what was annoying. It started immediately, so I didn't oh, even know. That's why you said, oh, yes. they did up first. I was like, oh, I, I would have missed that entirely. If you land on boardwalk, buy it. It's good, good mm -hmm. advice. Yeah. In Monopoly, do they keep the consistency of rent versus the purchase price? A consistent uh, ratio. I never actually calculated that. Huh? Did you do it all? Yeah. How many did you have to um, do in the end? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not too bad. What did you get up to in that other game? Oh, I did really 14? well. Fourteen. I did really well. It was in that crazy. Game. Yeah. Was that the? Snowman I'm not bad game? at Simon at, at Simon type games. Was that the Snowman? Yeah. Game? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but no one can talk to me while I'm doing it. You're <laughs> talking, and I'm like. Up, down, up, up, up. <laughs> <laughs> the land on boardwalk. Okay. Yeah, I think those games should say pr press button to start because you were talking and the and uh, it lit up and I didn't even see it because it just yeah. immediately started. So I think um, if that uh, if I had any uh, suggestion for VH that to see would would be maybe a button to start the game or the mini game, but um, yeah. So it was always the same. Uh, so what happened? He landed on something. I got whatever. Oh, it's gold. Okay, shoot. What am I doing? Shooting bad ah! guys. Not running into them. All of them? Shoot as many as you can. Doesn't look like you have. It's just a timer. Uh. Oh no. Is it a timer? Oh, you have hit points, so don't run into them. And you have nine more to go. Eight more to go. Five hit points now. Five more to go. Three, two, one. Yay! You did it all. Or do you get it? I think you get more experience if you keep your hit points. I don't know, but I've lost my hit points, right? Um, I think that's just in. Oh, you did lose hit points. Yeah. Oh my god. I. I that's there's dangerous. A, is there a potion I can use or no? You. No, you can't. Don't. You do have two potions. No, but I have to do it in yes. in game. Yes. Like yeah. like. Where am I? Ooh. So you can use a potion now, which might be a good idea. Five HP. That's it. Well, it's better than nothing. Does he hit you? Oh, he doesn't get attacked. Well, that's interesting. You can use your potion without using a turn. How, what is my max hit points? It might be 12, 13, 14. Hey, VH, see. Uh, we were just talking a little bit about um, when it should, when you should press the button to continue in this game and when you shouldn't. There's an inconsistency. Just, just the start. The start point. Yeah, because yeah. it went right into a game for her. It was the Simon game and I missed it entirely because, yeah, anyway. Yeah. That's partially my own fault. 
It's very cool though. There's oh my goodness. It's a new one. So it's <gasps> it's like straight out of oh, um, it's Night Guy. Night Guy. Don't die. Oh my god. What are you doing? Why? I have to start here. Huh? Start. So how do I can I jump over? Press the button. I'm uh, scared hit the now. button. Go to the left and jump up to hit the button. No, no, no. Don't jump on the left. Not... There you go. It's a box game. No, no, don't. It... I think you might be able to reset it with the button. I hope. Oh, you I see. you just screwed yourself. I Yay. Like... What am I supposed to do? Well, you're making a ledge so you can jump up. Have to get that diamond. <laughs> Time's out. I'm like, oh. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I am proud of that goblin sprite. I guess push right to the end and jump over. Uh -huh. Push the box, jump up the box, jump over the fire. Yeah. So press you just have button, to you just have to avoid there. you have to avoid. That's it's a, fine. It's I, I just I was thinking too much and didn't realize there was a timer, so uh, I would have just tried to get there. Broccoli tree. Brock brock tree. Broccoli tree. <gasps> so don't have many hit points, but you're almost at the end of the level. Broccafoli. That's what it is. Like the Broccafoli. Yeah, he's very cute. Yay, gold! Yay! You still have eight hit I points. I need some That's stuff. Good. What was that? I don't know. Oh, he went up a level. Did I? Yeah. It says level one. Oh, because you got enough experience. Mm. Oh, he went by the end. Yay, your hit points! Skull see kill. It's only available to warriors at level seven. Nice. So this is also an RPG. It's not just going around the board over and over again. There is a boss. Now, I haven't played it long enough to get to a boss yet. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if we'll have enough time tonight on the show to play it to long enough. To go that far, to, yeah. To get to a boss. Okay. See if you can do it without double hitting. You do have to hit every bomb that comes down as well. Do you? Yeah. I think. Maybe no, you don't. Maybe you just don't have to get hit. Oh, we'll see. No, you do. You have to hit every bomb that comes down. Or do got, you? No, I got 13 gold. I didn't lose. Hmm, I think you can get 20. Oh, 7. 7 and 13. So, 7 hit the ground, and I got 13 oh, gold, because you, you get seven. 20 bombs. Right, okay. So you can get up to 20 if you get them all. Okay, that makes sense. Very cool. I think that the vibration when the enemy attacks is too heavy. I'm it looks like a blood above that goblin sprite. Yeah, the goblin. The sprites are awesome. <laughs> mm. I think Flackets has a bit of a point there. I think us as twenty six hundred and seventy eight hundred users Look are used to this kind of motion for bugs, like line count issues. <laughs> Maybe you can shift it left and right or something like that. That does look like a. a a frame jump, doesn't it? But it's meant when to be a, you? A, it's meant to meant be, to be a, like, a, yeah, like a that. shake. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. Instead of side to side, it's up and down. Side to side might be hard to do. No, I know. Yeah. 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 This is so cute. Broccoli ant. <gasps> Tooth. How are you ever going to save up? I don't know. I want to get to this shop. Nathan Strom says it'd be fun to have a little squash stretch recoil when the cannon fires. Oh, yes. Uh, VHC is the master of animation, and so I'm sure he can do that. Yeah, it'll be like boom, boom. Oh, here you go. Oh, you already wasted a shot. I don't even know. You weren't even over there on the left. That was weird. Did you see that shot that went up? Yeah. That double shot there. Yeah. Yeah, double shot there too. Oh, you did really well there. Yeah, 17 gold. 17. Yeah. The bro broccoli ant from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. The bad <laughs> mother evers. They completely destroyed Saruman's Norman Neuromancer's tower. Oh, you have to sword up. Right, there you go. Oh, that was terrible. Oh my goodness. That was fast. That was a fail. Okay, <laughs> my turn to play. Oh no! Boo! Okay, you can bit. play for a bit. 
for a bit, and then you have to give it back. Okay. Can I oh, buy anything? Buy stuff. Nope. Not no, enough. No, you've Can't. got a hundred. Oh, you need two hundred. Maybe I can try. Two hundred, Rochi. No. Oh, I noticed as well in oh. this VHS. See, see, there's arrows left and right. Yeah. I can't go left. Oh, just but right. But it has a left arrow. Oh. And if I go to the all the way to the right, I can't go any further. But there still is a right arrow. Just a small thing. It's oh, not a big I deal. see. Or when you go to one side to the other, yeah. Usually it disappears, saying, oh, you can't go to the right Or it anymore. would just roll back over, kind of. Yeah, or it can rotate yeah. if yeah. you want to keep keep that there. Yeah. Can't buy anything yet. Nope. A little bit more. Much better than last time, because we kept going down to zero. Okay, I don't like this puzzle. It's hard. I've solved it once. Yeah. But I, I just don't like playing it, so... Oh, I just don't. oh, you're not going to try? Given, it's, it takes a long time. Yeah. And I usually fail. Yeah. So, and it's going to be really boring for people to watch. So, uh, People are good at those puzzles and like those puzzles. Yeah. Um, Ooh. It, oh, my God. But I don't think it's conducive to Broccoli and Sir Savage Warriors and incredibly nutritious. <laughs> <laughs> True. It's a plant. Nothing happens. Oh, it's a very brown mm. plant. So the colors look so they look brown. <gasps> so cute. Oh, you've set I fire fail. to the horse. I fail every time on that. <laughs> every it's the timing. Time. That's funny. Oh, oh god, here we go. Oops. I pressed it. Public domain. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Missed a couple. That's a lot of gold. That's where you get the gold. Wow. Good okay. job. You want me to play again? Yeah. You keep going around the board. Okay. You haven't even gone once around it yet. Oh. I don't think so. Almost. What did I hit? Nothing. Just empty. Why do you hate horses, James? I don't. <laughs> Set I fire don't. to the horse. <laughs> I don't. I want to jump over the fire, but I just don't jump high enough. Yay, six coins. Maybe we can buy oh, something finally. So close. How much do we have? 190. So close. Oh, should we play or leave? What is this? Rock, paper, scissors. Cost it's $7. It's totally random. Oh. We'll play so we can show it off. Should I pick... Rock always wins. So I should pick rock. No. Or draws. Oh my god, he's he knows my tactic. He's going for rock every time. Yay, you Yay! got a potion! Oh, potion? Did I buy the potion for seven then? I don't know. Or did I win seven and a potion? I don't know. Oh, I got a potion. Whatever they're worth. Okay, let's try it. This is super cute. Uh, I love double. all these mini games. They're so awesome. If each that he was working up to this, he was the king of mini games. Yeah. Now he's put them all in, in a one. board game. Yep, yep, yep. It's the perfect application. Out of ammo. I double. Sh that's the best I've ever done. Nineteen. Nineteen. Because I is good. only got one double shot. Yeah. Love the tree line. This is, this is awesome. Maybe combat could be handled simultaneously with a rock paper scissors mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who plays the wrong gesture takes damage. Every player who deals damage gets a coin. Oh, funny. Oh, <gasps> I, oh, oh, I still one. have 201. Oh, yeah. You have to get one. one. Oh! Did it! 200. So somebody was saying there was a bug in this, that you could buy something for 300 
buy something that was worth 300 for 200 oh. I don't know if he's fixed it, oh. though. <laughs> Are Let's you try, try it. So that's the awesome Not one. enough gold coins. Yeah. Recover two hit points each turn. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Can't yeah. buy it. Let's try this one. Max. 5 HP. No, nope. he's fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Flea fee two, two. So it reduces the flea fee. Are there any other for 200? No. Skull key. Skull key. Okay. It's a key. Well, get, get the boots. There goes the money. Oh, I love it. And bleh. Great animation. Now I've got boots. This is sold. Excellent. Yay, boots. You pay seven coins to have a chance to win a potion. Uh, oh. Well, potions okay. are good. Here. Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I'm now terrible you, at it. Now you you're don't want to play it, but you're making me play well, it. I never said I don't want to, but... Shopkeeper was designed by my daughter. Oh, very oh, nice. cool. Was it a fish head in a bowl? Was that the, the shopkeep? I wasn't looking, paying attention. Okay, so when I played this, when it this um, version came out, this um, build came out, I played through played through the game until I played all the mini games, and I ranked them from. Hard, easiest to hardest. So uh, the dragon shooting one uh, that you played, where it's shooting up at dragons, um, I win every time. I do very well in that. That's very easy. There's a pong one we haven't seen yet. I find that super easy. I almost never lose a ball in that. The falling music one, which I played not too long ago, I win every time. That's very easy. Um, the platform one, where you played just once, but you didn't really know what you're trying to do. Um, that one's very easy. I win every time with that one. Except for the first time I ever played it. The medium one is the rock stab, where the rocks are flying at you. Mm. I've not played that with a joystick yet. I played it with a keyboard, and I found it a little difficult with the keyboard. But I think I could do very well with a joystick. The ones I find hard is this one hard as hell this is the hardest one it is. hardest mini game in the whole thing mm. uh the jumping horse one the farthest i've done is three jumps in the jumping horse oh skulls it changed up ah. oh because you're in a different level now this looks a lot harder because you have to hit can you move forward too i don't think they kill you do they can, can you they move injure? forward like up and down oh you can oh nice no gold, though. Oh, you went up a level. Yay! Um, the bomb shoot, I find really hard. Now! There we go. Let's see if you can do it. Three! Yay! Yay! Too oh, early. I no. knew immediately I did it too early. <laughs> There's two patterns in that level for now. Oh, uh, in the... The flying dragon one? Oh, see how I'm you're really doing this. this. You don't have to time it. You just have to move it. Yeah, for people wondering about this one, you don't have to hit it at the exact time that it's there. You just have to be there when it hits. And luckily, it's in a really good order. So left and right are the furthest. So you just have to watch for that. And then it's up, down in the middle. So all you have to do is look approximately where it is when it's falling, and you'll get it. Um, the Simon one, I find hard. Obviously, you did super awesome at the Simon. <laughs> so you would put that in easy. I don't... Or I, I like Simon-type games, but they stress me out a lot. I don't... Which is funny, because my memory is generally not that good. <laughs> Just for that game. Depends on what it is. Um, and I put N.A. for rock, paper, scissors because it's totally chance. Yay. It's not terrible. This one is so good with gold. Yeah, oh. you get so much gold on this level. Yeah. This is really fun. Oh, that's a nice looking spider. It's that's, like an ice spider. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, it is a nice spider. <laughs> it says ice spider. Yeah, this game um, is anything but boring. Because there's just so much variety. There's so many in little it. games in there. And um, <gasps> oh, Esther Mirrors is gone. Have a good night. Yes. 
Uh, Captain Classic says, since some games are too easy, maybe a push your luck mechanic. Push your luck. You can bow out early of mini games. No whammies, no, no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> and collect your gold coins or risk them and play a harder version of the mini game. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't mind the way this way of le as you level up, they get harder. Hmm. I think that's a smart way of doing it. Broccoli. Broccoli Ant. Broccoli. Broccoli. <laughs> nice. You still have lots of life. <laughs> Wait, I mean, you just passed the, the around the, the inn, I guess. So. There we go. Try and get 20. You have to shoot all of them. Can't take too long. Oh, double hit. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. See, don't don't distract me. I'd rather it hit the ground than me double hit it. Eh. Same same effect. Oh, no, no. Fifteen still good. Yep. I will take my fifteen gold. I want to make it to the end of the horse. Yeah. It's so hard. How far is the end of the horse? I don't know. Oh, I wanted to play this one. Oh, oh I mean, my no. timing's bad. Yeah. You don't get many, uh... No redos on that one. No. You get like You got like three hits? Ooh, Four? I don't know. I didn't think I got hit that much. Vamp Witch. Four. She's cute. Pink orb. Yeah. <laughs> memory it's good you're playing oh. remember not all the enemies make, make the same amount of damage oh there's enemies that have three of attack oh my god yeah so you can't just judge it yours against theirs and you only have one attack right now how do you upgrade the attacks i didn't see a s sword in the store maybe it appears at a later level to upgrade your attack It's not very much. Well, pretty good gold from that. Yeah, it is seven. Gold. Seven's not bad. Seven's Especially not bad. Especially when you get ones like where it's so many repeats. Like, do, do, do. Yeah, you, you just kind of group to... those together. Visually, I see, I visually memorize things. Visually memorize the order. Yeah. Your attack increases at certain levels. Okay. Mm. So he has six and you have nine, but he could attack for more than one. Yes. So I'm going to watch. Just one. Yeah. Okay. He looks he looks monstrous. He does. It's quite the teeth. Needs uh they're pretty yellow. They're very yellow. Yeah. Needs some whitening. Yep. <laughs> but he's very brown. There's a very brown Potion hue on. over everything. Do you think it's my system? No, no. It's it does seem a bit it? dull in color, but I yeah. don't know I don't know if it's your system. Get the horse. Oh, another one. What was it called? Slime? Oh, I missed the name. Slime, just slime. Yeah. Straight up slime. Kind of looks like Slimer. <laughs> a little bit. Actually, a lot. Slimer had a big tongue, too. He didn't have tentacles. He had actual arms. Any We've only questions? got four. Oh, no. That's okay. We only have one more to get on him, but I wouldn't attack anything else. No. I would run, 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 run. run. One, get one. Oh. Want me to do this? Yeah, if you want to. A space. You know what to do. You have to do yeah. it fast. Like, you don't have a lot of time. Watch out. You're going to get hit. <gasps> what Fail. just happened? What, what did I... You exploded it and maybe it killed you? I don't know. What? What just happened? You died. Oh, get lots of gold. Oops. What is, what's the end of this game, or is it just to see how long you last? No, there is a boss at the end. Yeah. Like people but have you have to get all your, your equipment, and so it's quite a, it seems like it's quite a long playing um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure where the boss is, though. Like, how do you encounter the I boss? I don't know, probably, you probably hit a certain experience level. Because you're slowly getting through the levels, so... Hmm. It's really cool. Oh. VH, <laughs> Oh, yeah. These games are always super awesome. You oh, touch the remains of the explosion. Yeah, you're on the edge of that box oh, exploding. Oh, no. Yeah. I failed hard on that. But why did it explode? Because the ball came there? Did you have to... Move it without the, the fire hitting it, maybe? Don't know. Look at that. Maybe. Goal. Oh, yeah. Good goal. But we need 300. We're almost there. 218. I would run. Just in case. Yeah, because I got the boots. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, seven spaces. Is that good? I guess. Mm. It's for a potion. It's how you get a potion. Is it? I would do it. It's only seven. Seven dollars for a potion is a good deal. <laughs> there's... Yay! I mean, there's not any point in picking one over the other because it's random. You just pick one for fun. You don't get your key until level seven. No, I want to play this. I want to play this. Ah, damn it. Uh. Oh, oh, no. Seven. I wonder seven how many you go. need. Yeah. yeah that's okay. so it, I, it doesn't pause at the beginning, so I can't hand no. it to you. That's kind of the thing. Yeah. It, you, you get thrown right into it. <laughs> it's like... Here's the mini game. Oh, fine. Oh, you got lots of them. Oh, oh, no. What? I don't know if it gets harder. Like, you have to be more precise as time goes on or not. I just wasn't precise enough. Okay. Raining knives. <gasps> oh my god, that's not oh, good. Oh, it's a good thing I got that potion. Yeah, it is. Two spaces. Oh, no, an insult. Maybe there's other things? No. Skulky exit. Same stuff. Still only three. No potions or anything, no. Oh, there's, look at the guy. He's like a fish guy in a bowl on a body. <laughs> <laughs> he looks yes. like his head. I thought his head was like the earth. <laughs> It's cute. That's fish lips. Blip, blip, Very blip. cute. Nothing beats rock. Rock smashes right through uh, paper. I'm gonna die. <gasps> oh my god. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, it's the bounce. This one's pretty easy. What is it? You wanna play? Sure. Oh. Oh, then I die. Saying it's easy. To kill it? Oh, I see. You just have to hit it. Hung. Nine, eight. <gasps> oh my god. Pong it up. It's a pretty small pong paddle, so. It is. It is challenging. And you do move the same speed as it, so you have to kind of. Yay! Be ahead of it. Good Yay. job. Thank you. But I used my hit points. Uh, you collect gold oh and god. level to obtain a key to open the closed tile. Oh. So that's how you get out, and then there's a boss. Okay. That I makes sense. My hit points in that game, I think. Oh, you're down to one. Yeah. Oh. So the games actually hurt you when you do this.
That was a pretty good, easy one to get. Well, it's going in circles. It uses only three. Yeah. yeah. Monies! Only need 55 more. I need hit points, though. Yeah. Very badly. One I'm bad thing. Die. One bad thing, and it's over. Oh. I do have a potion, but you can't use it. I have to... Oh, no. This is bad. <laughs> You can't use your potion over. in those games. If you could, if you if oh. there was a potion button. Yeah. Well. Good stuff. A very good. Very fun game. And I don't think I think you should be able to die like that because then it makes it too easy to get to the end. You just keep playing. There yeah. should be a little randomness and a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm down to one hit point. Oh, dead. You yep. know. Because it makes there it harder is to get options there. to run away when you're being attacked. Yeah, but games like that, you take the hit points, right? Yeah, you so, just got to be good at them. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Okay, it is time now for the unboxing of Ricky and Vicky. Ooh. Let's see what's inside. It's already in it. Because you've never, he's never opened it I before. haven't. <laughs> for the show. It's to open on the show. Um, this nice. is a two-player game. Um, and it's actually a different game when you play two players. All the levels are different. Completely, completely different. Completely different. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of time and effort and yeah. level design. That's very cool. So, it says puzzling action for one or two players, and it's got. Oh, maybe I did look open at that this. Cart. That is so pretty. Maybe I I've swear just, you. Yeah, I swear you have. Maybe I did open this, or I've just looked at pictures Ooh. of it at least. Yeah. Oh, nice. Is that? Look at that clear cart. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. And these guys developed their own board. It's beautiful. And their own chips. For oh, this game, we'll talk nice. a bit more about that. Wow, a bit rattly. A little rattly. And there's lots of little bonus stuff in here. VHC says, "I try to make something for everyone, so even if it is a single-player game, it could be played like a party it game. It can. Like we passed it back and you forth. You can do a level each kind yeah. of thing, and it or works quite well. You're better at this. Yeah. You're here. better at this. Yeah. It would be easier if you paused before every game. Before the mini game started. Before the mini game. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. If you want to pass it off, at well, least. Maybe I did. Yeah, yeah I opened this. Yeah. Get a complimentary oh, ticket he has, yeah. to Misery Land. Oh. <laughs> this pass is valid for one inconveniencing, subject to schedule and weather conditions. Submit a turnstile for admission. <laughs> nice. And there's a lot more on there, which I won't read out. Um, this is Ricky Vicky, uh, mm -hmm. serial number 1.539, February 10th, 2020. There are 551 oh. of these made, so I got one of the later ones. Yeah. 539. You got it just before they sold out. Mm. It says, don't throw this away. It's a warranty card. Mm -hmm. Another complimentary ticket. Mm -hmm. um, a little um, sticker. It says, oh, hello there. And the manual. Misery Land Official Tour Guide. I think, oh, one more thing in here. Just a piece of paper. It says 1.539. And crossed off 1.439 because they messed up, <laughs> I guess. Is that it? Yes, that is it. So let's pop it in and start playing. We'll play, start playing a single player game so I can read off and then we'll switch to the two player okay. game. Okay. This is so pretty. It's very nice. Now there's a whole FAQ about, uh, troubleshooting your cartridge <laughs> so hopefully we won't have to use that and it'll just work so i'm going to switch over so we can see if there's any boot things that happen on boot in case probably going to miss a thing while my oh. frame meister figures out it goes what ah. you're doing. yeah oh there we go nice Some people have said this is one of the most advanced 7800 games ever mm. made. It's got its own special chip in it for sound. It's so cute. Super cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you are playing first. So we'll leave the instructions. So you get to pick Ricky or Vicky. Well, Vicky. And I <laughs> think they're the same levels, but I'm not sure. Well, we'll try Vicky. Okay. Exit. So. Exit what? 
There you go. Ah, it's the Press other button. Press one to start. Oh, other button. Second button to the start? The right button. The right button. Not the one you think it's supposed to be. It was a quiet evening until it wasn't. Oh. Crazy. Look at this. Just amazing graphics and animation going on here. Nice. Tenants is highly recommended. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want to see your disgusting kids <laughs> again. <laughs> now, if you excuse me. I've got more entropy to distribute. Uh -huh. uh, catch you later, suckers. Vicky, wait, don't go alone. So this would be different. Yeah, the end. Well, we'll the do the, the two. Wow. Look at this. This is like a late release NES game. It does look like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That has just oodles. This game looks, looks gorgeous. gorgeous. Wow. So there's a whole bunch of keys here. Oh. Jeez. It's a white key, and a green key, red key, and an orange key, and you can wrap around, so if you're worried about falling. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So you've got points there, and it's showing keys that are filled in at the top, middle. There you go. So you get all four keys, gotcha. and you go to the next level. A nice in and out. Got a little block, and, I, and I've seen some videos of this. You pick up the block, you throw it, you can jump ah. on the top of the blocks to get up places. But the blocks fall down after a second if you don't use them right away, or they reset or something. This is super cute. Yeah, the water drop animation is really cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Cool. Reminds me of the dropping water in the game we played on Friday. Mm. Um, which was um, Eggventure. Mm. Like the acid and the water dropping. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Get that red key. No, maybe that would. Um, hmm, how do you get there? Mm. Maybe I'll read some stuff. Left trigger to pick up or toss. Maybe you throw it at that boulder? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, hmm. Up, down, metal, final. So you're in the rock cavern. Uh, the biggest dig of them all. This unnamed attraction has been under construction for the last few centuries and isn't anywhere near complete. What is that? X? Because you can jump up on red. You can't fall through red. Mm-mm. I have, to, I, have to, I have to destroy that block somehow. Yeah. And you can't toss it? What? Have you tried tossing it from the left at it? Have you thrown it at it? There's a way to drop down, somebody says. Splendid nut. Is there? So press down and press the button. No? Not that I can tell. Let's see if there's any directions. Run. Yeah. Uh, press tap the right trigger to drop through the thin red platform. Oh. We oh, haven't tried the right button yet. Oh, didn't. Left or right? Both. No. Right, it says. Move the joystick down and trap the right button. Oh, down. Okay, oh. down and right button. Right trigger. Okay. That works. There we works. go. Thank you, Splendid Nut. I uh, press the right trigger to leap in the air. You have been using the right button then. Yeah, okay. I have. No, down in the right button. That's mm. how you do it. And that's all in. All the stuff. Oh. Smash. There you go. Twenty six hundred says, "Well, lucky me. Had to spend the whole stream with my daughter in my arms while she slept." Anyway, I'm sure you guys found all the bugs with my game. <laughs> it's still very early development. I'll rewatch the stream after. Um, we found we found a bunch of stuff. I mean, yeah. it's so it's very very early, and I just wanted to show it on the stream because Bomberman. I love Bomberman. It's a really fun mm -hmm. game, and I just bought a Bomberman for Switch. It's more of a isometric or 
three-quarter view Bomberman. It's uh, it's quite good. Played, you know, several levels so far, so that's why I was really excited to see that a Bomberman was Bomberman type game was coming to uh, the 7800. Um, so I'll read some information about this game. Uh, the music was done by Rush Jet One, um, who. Muddy Funster let me know before the show that he said, interesting fact for your show tomorrow, Rush Jet 1, the guy who did the music for Ricky and Vicky, also did the music for both Tire Tracks and Daredevil. So if you ever heard, have heard the music in the intro screen for Daredevil, um, you can drop through that red on the right. I know, right. that's what I'm trying to do. Oh. There we go. Hmm. And then you should be able to hop across to that key. And there he is. <laughs> I think you have to use the bricks somehow, but you can't get the bricks to stay in one spot. You can't drop them. You can only throw them. Hmm. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Maybe throw the brick at where the water is uh, going over the ledge, and it'll give you a bit more time to jump off that ledge. What do you mean? The right ledge, the teal ledge. <sighs> yes. Throw it at that teal ledge so it sticks to the right-hand side. Uh, it sticks to the left of it, so jump and throw. Like that? Yeah, that might help. But I was thinking more sticking to the edge where the water is I don't overflowing. Think you can. No. No. Oh, there, it's not uh, pushing along. That's a positive. No, I can't jump in the air. You can't jump while you're in the water, or is not it there's in the air. not? There's not enough time. You can't jump in the air. I can't jump well, like there. That's only weird. on solid ground, not yeah, in the water. Yeah, that's what it only seems like. Oh, so throw another one up there, and that'll give you a bunch of time. Oh, uh, that's up there. definitely <laughs> not where I want it. Oh, no. Oh! I'm not, I ran out of time? <gasps> yep. Mm. Ran out of time. Hmm. So this features six colossal caverns with a hundred puzzles to challenge and master. Hmm. High definition graphics with seven dazzling colors. Hmm. Uh, unique adventures for both one and two players. Dynamic difficulty lets you play for story or go for high score. Uh, both foxes and boxes on screen simultaneously. <laughs> foxes and boxes. Foxes and boxes. Uh, six mega power of intense inconvenience. Oh, there you go. Throw the other one, too. Oh, no. Doesn't matter. You can't throw them on top of each other. They just stack. Oh, it does fall down. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Jump and throw it to the right? No. How come it goes up there? Because I'm probably Weird. moving in that direction. I don't even know how to get up there. It's weird, eh? Oh, there you go. No, that's weird. That's really weird that that one only sticks to the ceiling. Well, I don't think it only sticks to the ceiling. Well, why does it keep sticking to the ceiling every time? How do I get up there? Yeah, I don't like this button too much either. It doesn't always <laughs> trigger. I believe you can block, drop the block straight down. So, so oh, I can drop it that. straight down here? Oh, maybe. There you go. Now Oops. you have tons of time to jump. Yeah, but jump where? Over to the key. How do I jump over to the key? Oh, is You can't jump over to the key. Oh, because of the ceiling? So, yeah. There is... Th I, I definitely need to stack the boxes, I think, but I'm just not entirely sure how to get them to stack on that red. Maybe you can't. Hmm. How about... It doesn't... Can I try? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, go ahead. It's like the second puzzle and I can't figure it out. <laughs> Control scheme sucks. Yeah, it's not very good. I think a better controller this would controller help. Controller is the worst ever. Yeah, it is. I agree. See, it sticks to the walls. You you almost want it there so you can jump. I don't know how to jump over. Unless you can kind of stick it to the side and create a platform over to it. But I don't know. Yeah, but you would have to stick it to the edge. I don't even know if you can do that. Yeah, you can't jump while in the water. 
No. Or can you? Let's not, see. not well, easily. You can. Oh, you can jump well in the water. Yeah, but it's not. When you're moving, when the water's pushing you, it seems to be problematic. But you can't jump across. Oh, because you hit the ceiling. I, I, I feel like you need to stick the boxes to the edge of that ledge to create a path over to the key, but... I'm run out of lives. Can I try something? Yep. Put a block in the center and use it to climb. You can't. Uh, on the ground, maybe? No. Maybe. Can you stack one on top of the other? They go there, but there, 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 there. Like, put one down. Oh, what? I oh, got okay. it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, there we go. Weird. I feel like that was a fluke. It was. Dropping it was a fluke. I'm not sure even how that happened. Bunnies. Bunnies in helmets. I have to throw them at the bunnies. Oh, poor bunnies. Oh, no. Oh. I swear I'm like, mm, maybe I can't get over. Stick at the top and let it drop, then use that as a base to jump higher. Yeah. Flacket's got it. Yeah. I think you can jump up and throw it at him. There you go. Now can I get over there? Now you need the third block to, oh. to do the same thing as last level. Oh. Oh. Bye, VHC. Have a good night. Hmm. So they made their own, these guys who made the game uh, made their own emulator, so they could test their own game, because all the other emulators didn't have the chip that they had installed in the system. Um, they made. Um, the custom audio chip is called the BUP chip, and they made an emulator called the uh, BUP system. Very strange name. Um, it says BUP system is an Atari 7800 Pro system emulator. Oh, it was originally it written to assist in the development and distribution of Ricky and Vicky, but can run most other software for the platform. Mm -hmm. As of writing, BUP system is a closed source and only available for Microsoft Windows. This program is intended as a development tool and preservation of the Pro System architecture. While it can be used to run commercial software, I will neither assist nor prevent users from doing so. You're on your own. Um, then, what else here? There's something called, oh, I don't have all my notes, Super Mapper. So they had their own uh, memory mapping system called the Super Mapper, uh, which is uh, open source. Um, you're allowed to use the Super in your own projects. Modify it, enhance it if you like. Um, so Ricky Vicky was first available on Microsoft Windows. It was available on Windows before it was available on the, on the 7800. Um, so it's on Steam available right now for uh, $9.99. And this was the 7800 version was for sale for $59.99 US. Mm. Um, and it's sold from February 2019 to November 2020. It's 551 copies. Um, and as soon as it sold out, dozens of people were asking, when are you going to make more? When are you going to make more? Of course, it took a year and a half to sell all 500 copies. It was very slow at the end. But as soon as anything's sold out, everybody wants it, of course. Hmm. The emulator is used for the Windows Steam version of the game under the hood, I think. Oh, wow. That makes sense to make it a lot easier to develop both at the same time. Because if you're running an emulator to run this game... <laughs> Um, then you only need to make sure it runs in the emulator, and if you run the emulator under Windows, then it's the exact same game. That's really, really smart. Um, and it has a very active uh, forum. <laughs> that guy really makes his way it's over really to hard you. To... Oh, it's bad. He's like the robots in uh, Impossible Mission, Ugh. where they see you when he runs over. 
Oh, there, there we go. go. You know those robots, when they see you, they run over to you? So now you can get two more. Yeah, that's... One to kill the rabbit, then one to hop on after you've killed the rabbit. Uh, Carl G says, yeah, I'd have gotten the Steam version too if it supported Macs. Yeah, I think it's only for Windows on Steam right now. The emulator is really nice. Too bad it's Windows only and closed source. Yeah. I don't know if they're... they Do they actively develop um, the emulator? Or they just have... It is what it is. Um, so he did uh, have a Q&A, some pretty good uh, Q&A in the Atari Age forums. Let me read some of the answers that he gave to people asking questions. Arena Foot's back was watching Ready Player One. Oh, did you enjoy it? And done, yay! Did die. <laughs> Getting close. Um, there's Evan, uh, Trebor said there's evidently a considerable amount of software and hardware development towards 7800 by the team as well. How much time went in developing Ricky and Vicky? Oh. Uh, with December 26 ship date, it would be almost four years exactly. The first build was on December 26, 2014. I remember drafting the design earlier that month. So this game took four years to make, which is not surprising, given how, uh, how crazy awesome it is. Mm, probably need two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Since they give you three, you probably do need two. You can get that one pretty easy. You probably need to put them both over there first. Um, the BUP chip, um, which is the audio chip. BUP chip is just a microcontroller running a ver modified version of BUP Boop. Which is a game software which the game software can communicate with. So unlike a pokey or most other sound chips from the era, it's a musical coprocessor. Is in that the Sally side code just tells the bup trip bup chip to play a track, stop, pause, resume, or attenuate. It has no idea or cares what actually is going on otherwise. I'd go as far to say the bup chip only indicates there's some microcontroller able to run audio software on the cartridge. For Ricky and Vicky in particular, we use the 72 megahertz ARM, which can happily render 16 channels at 48 kilohertz. From the composer's perspective, this is a simple 16 channel sampler with limited memory. In our case, the microcontroller had a 256K flash, which we partitioned into 32K, bup boop plus support, and 224K music data. So the audio is still generated real time within certain limits. However, sound effects in the game are all from our old friend, the Tia. I want to know how you're getting stereo off the chip, if there's only one channel for external audio, or follow through on the cartridge port. Most noticeably at the end of the video. So, the chip renders in stereo, but only in mono on the 7800. Oh, there you go. No, it's... It's, it's very hard. So you have to do one, then I don't know, and I keep hitting the wrong buttons, so I'm just like, I'm doing a terrible job because I'm not, I'm not getting mm. the timing. I also find it not the greatest. I don't, and I, I hit the wrong button all the time. Mm. I'm very frustrated. <laughs> this game is a pay download, right? Yeah, you can get it on Steam. Uh, for, oh, really? For $9. Oh my god. For $10 US. I, like I find the I find the jumping, it's not very responsive. Yeah, it, it's the buttons. It's the controller. Oh, the controller is so frustrating. <laughs> Am I dead, dead? Well, we can pay a lot of shipping oh, for a no. good controller. Oh, she she didn't she didn't get her kids. Oh, so well, sad. kids just die. You want to try um? We'll Ricky? try both players. Try Ricky and see if it's the same. Do you think it's oh, okay. the same? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember reading whether it is the same. Congratulations. Yay, high score! <laughs> Fifth level. You can, well, you can put me in if you want. I don't know if it uh, keeps track of it on the cartridge itself. Uh, 
the bup system was updated uh until a couple months ago T tail chow is taking a break from the scene okay thanks revenge total cost of ownership yes <laughs> <laughs> try again no, uh, no, we're gonna okay. go you try the other one it's weird See that the different. right button is all the menus no the right button is also penguin out that's what we missed the first time jump which feels reversed to what it should be because all the other games the jump is usually the uh yeah. the left i bet it's this Nope. Oh, we can fast forward. That's good. So cute, though. It and is. Ricky runs away? Oh, yeah, we should uh, watch the end of this. We'll just change that one scene, right? Ricky, Ricky wait! wait! So that picture would change. Yeah, just yeah. the last one. But it did, doesn't have a password system. So if you pick Vicky again, would it start from level five? I don't think so. I think it's just a continue. Wow. This is the same. It is. So we'll play two player. Sure. Okay. So should we pay $50 shipping to get uh, proper two player? Yeah. dive into the two player Yay. now and it's a totally different maze mm. off they both go it's so, cute. so it's going to be a, probably a little different uh, it's going to be that one scene that's going to be different i think so and the character design it's everything the music's amazing okay so stop stop moving okay you're green we're both moving at the same time so it's cooperative oh, there we go and there's gonna be parts where it's like okay we're you in jump different parts and, yeah, yeah we have to figure it out together But we don't... <gasps> oh my god, uh, that's not... I didn't know you could do damage. Good. Okay, did I, that is so good to know. Stay away from throwing each other blocks at each other. <laughs> Just get them out of the way. Yeah. Furry pride. I can tell I'm witnessing a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, jump, jump, uh. Okay. Oh, that's not where you need it. <laughs> Oops. Oh no. Is that over there forever? That might be. Oh no, we can fall to the right. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Tri tip try not to kill each other. Yeah. <laughs> Follow Things. me for more game tips. Things. Follow Carl G. Game tips. Oh, oh, where are we? Okay. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Ah, oh, get out of the way. Oh, no. How do we get there? No, you just go down. Don't throw it at me! Ugh! I'm scared. <laughs> oh, wait. Can you... Ooh, I'm scared here, too. Huh? There, that's what I was trying to do. It's oh. weird, the buttons don't always work incredibly well. 
What are you doing? No! What are you doing? <laughs> That's case in point. That's not what you need to do. Down. There you go. Now you can jump on top. I just forget which button is jump on. Me too. Sometimes my jump doesn't work. There you go. Yay! Yeah, it is it. good. I own this. Still haven't played it actually yet. I have a backlog of homebrews. Yeah. Well, that's not the worst problem to have. Um, it's really, really cute. Ah. Who's got it? Oh, you do. Go get that bad bunny. Go get the dumb bunny. You got him. Oh, I think you might need to throw it onto the wall. Yay! Oh, nutty. <laughs> Are you living up to your name? Oh. That was a very poor choice. Why did you do that? <laughs> oh, no! Because you need to hit, oh, kill that no. bottom one first. There's no, we're going to die. Here, I have to die. So reset everything? Yeah. Yeah. So you have to think about who you hit, you kill oh, first. Oh, sorry. Kill that him. There you go. You are correct. Ooh, I almost died there. Oops, no one be on that side. <gasps> oh, you hit your head. I didn't know that was going to happen. Oh, no. Ooh, this is quite a death scene. What's going on here? Oh, let's continue. Yeah. Oh, look at that animation. The <gasps> graphics. So, so good. Good. <laughs> Congratulations. I can't do anything. ZPH. One of them. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my. Vicky. Was, was I? No, you need to put your mine in. <laughs> Sorry. It's the opposite, right? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. What's this one called? This is... Ricky and Vicky! Ricky and Vicky. That's very small. Um, it is available on Steam, but we are playing the 7800 version, which is sold out. Oh, there's no continue? What happened? I did continue, but you we continued here. From the beginning? Oh, from the cave. Maybe from yeah. the, the next cave. Yeah. <laughs> They do plan, they said they... Get oh out of my God. way. They said they, on their webpage, that they will plan, they're oops, planning on making more as demand warrants, I think they said, mm -hmm. of this game. Oh, more levels? Um, no, more cartridges. Oh. But they have not given an indicator of when that might be. Um, they seemed... Who did that? I don't know. Was he, wasn't it? <laughs> ah, there. Ah, we can st stand on top of each other. Can you? They also developed Zaku for the lin Lynx, which is also excellent. Oh, really? Ah, it's okay. Ah, okay. Okay, you throw. And then throw that on. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, no, you can go down. There. Oh, I didn't, didn't even see even that. Didn't even know that you could do that. That's good. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> yeah, he did kind of indicate he's not planning on doing anything anytime soon. But it does look like it's, he's open to it. So they give you more than you need on this level. Oh no, you need this for this, right? Oh no, you got it. I love the clear orange cartridge. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, it's beautiful. 
gorgeous. No! Why do you keep doing that? Because <sighs> it, it, it hands it to you. Oh my god! I just got him. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> How do we do this? Oh, you just... You um, have to fall, jump across. Can you jump across? I think or you hit your not. head. What? Oh, I can't. I think you have to do something here. Yeah, I think you have to drop it here. Like, drop it down right around where I am, so you can jump up here. Drop it on the ground right here, so you can jump up here. Oh, I see. Right? Oh, mm, no. A bit over. Maybe. Actually, that's probably even better. Gives you a bit of clearance. It's rare to have furry mascots in Atari games. Yeah, it's true. It is. Uh, a lot of Nintendo games, but agreed, agreed on the... Uh... Oh. Oh, this is a new level. Oh, there those are, are spiky. I, I mean, I don't like pay attention to it, but oh, there is another. You have to run one. across it. There is another game you with furs. Run in or it. jump across it. That's easier said than done. Um, uh, so you have to run. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Can I pick get this that? up? Yeah, I think so. <gasps> oh my Ooh. god! How to waste lives? Okay. Okay, now don't stand on top of it, but try and pick it up. Like, get really close. Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I don't know how to do that. Maybe you have to run and, and no, pick it up? That's what I was trying to do. Okay, let me try it. Yep, <gasps> that's Good how job. you do it. Okay, and then you have to drop it down. How do we get me. out of the way? There you go. I find the, the, the jump button really... Yeah. So... You want to hit the wall and then jump up. You don't want it too far up the wall, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's still too far up. It's like it just has to be, like, barely up. <gasps> Sorry. And dead. No! <laughs> He's flapping his arms. Music's so good. It is. Do we have to start over again? Yeah, okay. maybe. We won't be doing that. Though. Well, we'll try it one more time. And... Okay. Oh, please, score. please tell me. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, let's just do a. There we go. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> we'll beat that high score. So there's yes. no continue. I said yes. But that's try again, not continue. But that's not the continue. Other one, the other one I'd continue. Uh, oh, who's this guy? Hi. Hello. Oh, what? Hello there. You seem familiar. Have we met before? What? No, we haven't. Why did you say yes? Oops. Oh, no. You just hit buttons. You get <laughs> mad at me for doing that all the time. <laughs> Hitting buttons and starting games. Yes, it is tedious. Direct. Out. Oh, deposit? Deposit. Okay. That's All fine. right. I don't care about points. Okay. Stuck at zero, oh. but you'll get as many chances as you need so you I'm, don't get more points. I am fine with that. I'm all about levels. Yeah. <laughs> One time offer. Does he mean we're stuck doing this forever? Yes. Yeah. Do, do it. it. No, for this game, yeah. I'm sure. It is done. Well, I'll let you go. Maybe we'll meet again soon. That's so cute. Can you step over the block while it's being held by the other? You can pass through the other person, yes. Oops. Ah. Yeah, it's only when you throw it at the other person do yeah. they get damaged. Yeah. That's the issue. So always want to stay away Oops. on the other side of the person when they're throwing. The buttons, eh? 
I know. I don't like the buttons at all. When we get the proper Ed Ladin controller, oh, yes. there'll be no more of that. So, what was the deal here? Just you have of... to throw it on the, the sidewall. Yeah. Oh, you don't even you don't even need that. No, to get up here. Oh, you here. Do. Okay. Okay. Might want to get out of the way. Yay. There we go. You can stand on the block while what? it's being held by the other? <gasps> oh, my Shush. gosh. Well, that uh, changes things. Let me do it. So I can stand on that block? Okay, do it. Come over here. No! That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll cycle back there. <laughs> okay. You want to stand on the block? Yes, right there. Yeah. I feel like... Uh... Wow. Okay. Nice. That, thank that you, helps. Revenge. Thank you. Wow. That's, that's going to help tip. with a lot of stuff. Yep. So. Get him. This is a very, very cool game. I love games like this, little puzzle games. Yeah. So don't throw nope. it at the bunny. Grumble <laughs> <laughs> mm. mm. cat. Do you want to jump? Oh. You there you go. Now throw. No. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you can get the other block and jump on it, or, mm. or I can. Ugh. There. It's it's difficult to jump I on know. those. I know. I can jump on your block. <laughs> okay. That's way easier to do, right? And it's higher. Yay! Okay. Excellent. R6. So how do we get that block? Because... Well, I got it last time. You did? Yeah, I got it last time. Oh, you threw it at me. That's what you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Now you can jump on that. And get really high. And yeah. then probably on the other one, too. Uh, maybe. No. No. Oh, maybe no. I jump. With you on it. Can you? And then you jump off that. Oh, try it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good trick. Yep, we wouldn't be able to solve that if we didn't know that you could stand on the ball. Well, and you can... I mean, there are other ways of doing it. Okay, so... Oh, boy. So I'm stuck on this side and you're stuck oh. on that side. I can throw a block to you. Can you do it without killing me? Um, maybe. Okay, if I drop through. Okay, ready? There you go. So... I can't get on that side. There's just... It's not, not even possible. Hmm. You'll have to use two blocks, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. I wonder if I can get that green without a block. No, I can't. No. A little too high. Put it just up one. I'm going to... Uh, oh, last. <gasps> I knew that was coming. Oh. That's why I was there to drop down. You might be able to use that to get up there, do you think? Uh, maybe. Let's or see. maybe... Hmm. Let me try. Too high. Oh, you can grab it on the way down. Right? Can I? Yes, I can. Okay, well, that's ah, good. That was... I got one. Mm. Both kind of in trouble here. I think we both... You need to throw the block to me, I think. I yep. think I need... Or you need to. No, I need to. We both need to. So, you ready? Drop through. Hmm. I feel like I need you more than myself. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't get over there. Oh, the, the jump button, like, I feel like I hit it like a billion times. Yeah, there you go. Down there. Mm. 
And then not too high, but not too low. Yeah, that's one too high. Yeah, one too low. Mm -hmm. There you go. Hooray! Now you gotta throw them to me. Okay. So. When I drop, you throw. Yeah. Ready? <gasps> oh! If I throw the next one, will you. Uh, let will me go drop next again. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Throw. Okay. Uh, so I should be able to... <gasps> oh too long! God. Time is running out. Revenge, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time. Just in time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna throw it over to you. No. No? No, I'm trying to get my block. Okay. Ugh. Well, while you're doing that, I'm gonna throw it over. There we go. Okay. You can work on your side while I fall to infinity. <laughs> there is still a timer, even though we've got unlimited lives. Ugh. So, <sighs> throw. Okay, ready? Yep. One, throw. two, three. Wait. Okay, throw. Ready? One, two, three. That all oh the time. my god. It's so annoying. <laughs> what happens if I uh, drop it? No, not like that. <laughs> We're gonna run out of time. Yeah, I know. <sighs> you can probably get the first one with the, the two stacked. Oh, that's great. Infinite! Sorry. That's really funny. <laughs> I want to be on top of it. Ow! It's going to squish you. It falls faster than me? What kind of world is this? Try to shoot shoot something at it? Oh, oh what are you no. doing? Oh, you got it. Oh, God. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> we need to restart it. for the level anyway. <laughs> It'll fall anyway. You need this block. No, I can get the first one. Can you? Well, you, okay. Okay, now you can shoot it. There we go. Oh, good idea. So. <laughs> okay, that's one way of doing it safely. <laughs> as long as you don't get smooshed. It doesn't seem to. Oh! <gasps> Again! God. What is wrong in here? <laughs> trying to drop it, You're but it's like constant I, death here. To press down. Can you can you not get your key while I'm getting mine? I can. But there's no point in just getting one. Just get both of them at no, the same time. No, because you're wasting time. So you might as well do it while I'm doing this one. Uh, no, that's not true. And then shoot it at me. Ugh. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> Panic for a second there. Yeah. Because <laughs> I've killed you. Many times. times. Is that why you're panicking? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
There you go. Good. And I'll stand on it so that... Uh... There you go. Okay. There you go. There we go. And I do not trust you not to kill me, <laughs> so I'm just going to get hang out up, up here. Very smart. <gasps> oh, you didn't jump. I do that all the time. <laughs> Hit the wrong button, you think you're jumping, and you're actually picking up the block. No, it doesn't work. I have to do something different. Sure. Jump. Oh, maybe you're jumping too soon. Maybe put it lower. Put one yeah. lower. I hit my head on that. Hmm. What? Time is running out. Yeah, we're still pretty good, but... Hmm. Maybe you stack one on top of the other and jump from the far edge. Do you think? Like here? Yeah. And then put the other one on top. Can you get the green one? No. <gasps> There's no way for me to get on that side, is there? Fall from the top. Oh, onto it! Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you can drop through it. Why are you doing it that? There you go. <laughs> like that. <laughs> drop through it. Hey. There you go. Oh. <laughs> no, you can't jump over. Unless you, uh... Can you jump up and put, make extend the ledge? Oh, maybe. That, that seems tricky, but you can try. You better get out of the way. Oh. So I'm gonna hit you possibly. Yeah, I think we're dead. Fall from the top. Yes. Okay. Yes, that is how you do it. Um, you know what? I have to place them while falling. That's what I gotta do. Do it. But that's yeah. I I put one and then the other, then there's a ledge. Yeah. I figured it out. Or they helped me figure it out. Captain Classic figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out nothing. Oh, oh no! That was my fault. Yeah. <sighs> Infinite lives, thank goodness. That was a good offer to take. <laughs> See I hit this button, nothing happens. It actually, I have to really jam the button to get get oh, it to jump, no. which is really frustrating. Ugh. I don't know why you just do one. Because you, yeah. I mean, it doesn't work for you, does it? You can't do anything until you. I'm trying to place it so you can throw it at me without killing me. There we go. Right? Okay. Do you want me to? Yeah, just throw it from there. You. And you can fall through? No, you can't jump across, unfortunately. Not yet. No. Do the same, and then stay on the bottom. On the bottom? Yeah, because I'm going to be throwing them up there. Can and I'm going to be extending that ledge out. Can you? Uh, Can you jump well, high enough to do that? No, what I do is this. I just keep falling. And then throw it at the right time. I'm so scared. Okay, stay down there. I'm going to try it again. Just to make sure I can. I threw it too late, right? There you go. There. Now I need the other one. But I have to do it really quick, right? Mm -hmm. How am I going to do that twice? Okay, I'm going to throw it. Okay. How am I going to do that I twice? Know. I 
accurately. <laughs> I think I can do one. I don't know. There's probably some a better way of doing it. Block, block, wall. Block, <laughs> block, wall. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, don't, don't be up there. I'm gonna be throwing them up there, and will I will hit you? Move, move, move! I don't have a lot of time. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think there's enough time to do that and fall. Oh, you did it! Yay! <laughs> Finally. I would jump, throw to the right, jump, throw to the right. It. Hmm. I don't think you can't because you hit your head. I mean, you could do that. But I think what I did might have been easier. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we got it. Oh boy. You just get it. You get him and shoot him. Just drop down. Get him and shoot him, but then... How do you get that white key? You just leave it to last? So you die. Um, so get the orange key. Okay, you come back here. Jump up here. Jump is so brutal. Jump on that ledge. Um, I need the I need the brick. Um, how do I get you that brick? I'm gonna throw it. Ready? Mm -hmm. oh. You're too close. Oh, I can jump up and get that. I can jump up and get that. Okay. Yeah, you put it back where it was. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can grab it. Oh, there you go. Now you'll be able to get the red key. And then get the white key as the last one. Don't throw it at the wall. Drop it down. Hmm? Drop it down. Yeah. What? What are you talking about? Just, just drop it on the... Ugh. No. Because you only need one more height to jump up. I know. So if you just jump oh, there? even there, from there, and get the red key. There we go. And then just drop down and get that white key. Because it's the last one to get. You think? Yeah. Hmm. Or that. <laughs> it's fine. I was thinking, oh, if you have three bricks, you could drop them down. But You could. Okay, he's batty. Right away, he's batty. You have to drop. You have to, you have to go behind him and jump up there really fast. Can? Does he give you enough room to go behind him? Mm, I yeah, bet. Yeah, he does. You need all the bricks. Yeah. And I can kill this guy. So, what I would suggest... Oh, I don't know if you should. Kill him right away? You might need all the bricks to get the key on the other side. Ugh. Really? Hmm. So, drop... Drop... Oh, maybe. Oh. I, I no, can't. you can probably do it with two. Do you think? I, c I can get all three, oh, just in case. I mean, it's certainly helpful. Right? Mm -hmm. Here comes another brick. Ready? Want another one? Can I put one on the right-hand side, maybe? Can I jump on you? Yep. Okay. Oh, let me jump up. No, oh, just jump on my brick. Get on my brick, and I'll jump up in the air. Ready? Yeah. Oops. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. There's one more to get. That's yeah. easy. That's easy to get. Is it? Oh, yeah. You just have to go down. Well, that wasn't hard. As long as we got that one first, yeah. then that was safe. But we only need one brick, really. <gasps> that other one was... Oh, Is boss. That... Boss time. Jump on their head. Jump on their head. No, don't die. Jeez. Yeah, my, <laughs> my jump function is not good. Okay. I'll be on the right. Oh, Ooh. what? Don't jump on their head. We have to wait for them to throw something? Maybe. Nope. No. Nope. I'm trying to jump over him. <laughs> yeah. So you have to dodge over top. Oh, it's 
It's so hard. This controller is really annoying. I feel like I can play this for much, much longer. It's hurting my wrist. Well, this is the boss, so. We'll stop after the. Oh, oh. you bastard! <laughs> We're both gonna die there. Yeah. This is why we play with no points. Because <laughs> we, we game over in no time. And if you play it through a second time, you'll know this how to do it. This is very unforgiving. Like, like the fact that one hit and you're dead. It is. It, it makes it very challenging. Okay, stop some now. What? Do we just have to... Dodge? Dodge? Dies? Drills down and watch out, he's gonna throw a pickaxe. Over here. Yep. Yeah. And go over here. Oh, finally. Oh That's... my goodness. I don't know how you do that. Wow. This is this is challenging. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I want to play this. Really? I don't think this We're is... at the boss. We just made it to the boss. Oh, it's gonna be so challenging. We're just gonna die over and over and over. Can't quit just when we make I'm not the quitting boss. yet, but This is just going to be death. I hate these controllers. It's fine for a puzzle game, but... I feel like I'm destroying it. I'm yanking on it so hard. Okay, go to the right. Oh, no. Just go wherever they are not. You got him once. Oh, I got him once. Probably have to hit him three times. Yeah, but he had me cornered. <sighs> You're like right next to them. No, because I need space to jump. It's not that hard to dodge. No. Nice. Oh, oh my god. It's okay, I was about to hit him too. <sighs> you need momentum. Ugh. Just stay far away from him. Mm. I had to jump over him again. Mm -mm. How do people do this with two lives? Don't know. <laughs> Play practice <laughs> in the. I mean, once you know what he's gonna do. True. Oh, oh God no. damn it! Getting further each time. No, I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> well, I hate games like this where you just you're just memorizing patterns we both play all the time. Or we don't play at all. I know you can't. See, I hit the the jump. This this controller's really annoying. Mm. I want my other controller back. I wish it wasn't broken. Yeah. Drill down, don't go for him. Mm -hmm. oh, oh no! If I could jump Good over job. him, then I could I could defeat him. <laughs> this thing's gonna be mangled by the time. See? Again, hitting the jump button and it's not jumping. I think it's quite, um, I have to really hit it hard to get it to jump. Mm 
Oh, I don't know which wing he's gonna throw it from. Yeah. I wish he was um, flashy for longer so you could get longer. past him. Yeah. Because it's such a short period of time that um, he gets you gets you right away. Yeah. It, it is, is a really lovely game. Amazing for a 7800 game. Oh, oh my god. I'm sorry. Lord Monkus. Welcome. Welcome to the end of the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm getting frustrated with the 7800 controller. Or this particular one. Yeah. You can't stay still. No, when you just keep the running. Pickaxe. Yeah. Because yeah. you have to. You have to. You didn't stop. It's almost better to be beneath him. Oh, oh I'm no. so sorry. It's okay. Like you have, I have to avoid you and and him, the yeah. block and him. Yeah, this is probably one of the most gorgeous 7800 games oh, ever yeah. made. It looks so much like a Nintendo game, actually. Yes, it does. You could probably tell somebody, oh, it's a Nintendo game. They'd be like, mm. yep, it is. <gasps> oh, he broke it. Oh, my God. Uh, so you have to pick it up. And th throw it immediately. And throw it right away. Yeah, it's... I, I wish he was, um... In, like, flashing and unable to kill you for... Yeah, a little bit longer. Get it? No? <laughs> Tried. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you're getting it. Can we skip this level? <laughs> this is... This is it. Either... Do this, or we give up. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to jump again. I knew he wasn't good. He was gonna stop there. Getting sloppy. Yeah. Oh. Get it together. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, oh. I knew he was gonna. Yeah, he was too close. To I, you. I was too close. You have to have distance to jump over him. You do. And you have to jump over him before he gets to the end too, because then you trap yourself. Mm -hmm. Like all good bosses, he has patterns. Get out of the way. Yep. Actually, if you stand directly beneath him, have you not figured that out? Oh, if you no. stand directly beneath him, he doesn't hit you. That's right. So I keep moving to underneath him if he comes, have to try if he comes my way. Um, ugh. I find two with two two on the screen. You sometimes forget which one you're playing. We're fairly distinct, which is good. Yes, but sometimes it just yeah, it messes, messes you up. up. I feel like this is doable. <laughs> it is. It's just... Oh, yes. Yeah, you just go towards the... Oh. Uh, see, he, you Don't get know when he's no starting. time. You get yeah. no time. And so you can't get past him once you've hit him. No. Which is which I think most games give you that it's, little bit more time to kind do. of reposition yourself. Yeah. Mm. Touch more time. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm... My, my wrist is killing me now. Couple more rounds, couple okay. more tries. Oh, oh who's this? Hi. Hi, oh, buddy, so are you sleepy. here for good luck? 
it's so sleepy. Yeah. Good luck, kitty. <laughs> His eyes are so tiny. Yeah. straight for you yeah you have to throw it and jump i've over. only i've only managed to hit him and get away with it once mm. once or twice, twice i think because you've hit him twice once but you didn't you got killed the second time. yeah because he he gets really close to you you really have to avoid him Oh, Dan ABC put the kitty on mm. the screen. Yeah, it's a good. Are you a good kitty? A good Hi, Licky. <laughs> Sorry. You panicked. Uh, yeah. yeah, I thought he was coming, but I jumped early and then yeah. I didn't have time to jump again. Hi, you're so cute. And Licky. <laughs> It's a bad controller. You have to smash it to jump. Its official name is the Pro Line Controller, and its nickname is the Pain Line Controller. Is it because it destroys your hands? <laughs> yes. Oh. It's the timing. I. He, it's just too short. Okay, one more round because my hands, <laughs> my hands beginning to. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Okay. I call it the cramp troller. Yeah. yeah. Hand cramping. It's not great. It's not great for the hand cramps. Oh, I'm sorry. One right. more. One more. Yep. Atari's here for for moral support. Yeah. Always biting and licking. Bet you have to hit him three times, eh? Hey? Oh, of course. That's usually how it works. <laughs> I was not thinking. It's not in the right <laughs> round. It's like, oh, he's flying uh, first. No, he's not. No, he's not. No. Right. Nope, too close. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. My, oh, hand, my no. head is cramping. We've it's been using this controller for quite a while now. I think we can do it. I just don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Yeah. Right now. So, that was a beautiful. Freaking. Oh, this is beautiful warm. Beautiful cart. Oh, Very yeah. warm. Oh, my God. Good the internals hard. probably get the chips on it get hot or something. Mm -hmm. There you go. Ricky and Vicky. Oh, oh shiny. A little out of focus. Uh, excellent. Nice. Excellent game. I think I'm going to keep it out of its packaging. So that we can play it again. Yes. Um, so I don't have to. Open it up I, I feel we can pass that that boss, but uh, yeah. My it's this it's this movement like this part of my hand is beginning to cramp up. Okay, Vicky. Yeah. Awesome, awesome game. Um, we played some awesome games today. Super super awesome games. Did. Um, mm -hmm. We played uh, Unowar S. Yes. By Bob DeCrescenzo. Yes. Um. He has just about done it. There's just a couple little tiny bugs. Mm. He's got all the levels, all the enemies. Thank you very much, Dan. He's mm -hmm. um, got all the sounds. Um, tiny little tiny bugs, mm. as far as I know. I mean, mm -hmm. I haven't played the original game in the arcade, so I don't know how it compares. How it compares. But it, it's fun. It plays really yes. well. The easy, lev easy level is easy enough. The hard level is really, really hard. hard. Yeah. And the normal level is yeah. just normal. It's fun. It's, fine. it's a fun shooter. It's very arcadey. Two players can Good play game. it I like simultaneously. The two. I like the two simultaneous. I love yep. it when they do that with games. You yep. can do some co-op games. And Bomber, Bomb Hero, Bomber Hero um, is a great start. He's got the basics there. It's like it's like the proof of concept in a way. Like, yeah. oh, it, it works. There's some, definitely something wrong with our controller, sadly. So, uh, well, it showed us there was something. Wrong. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell? Yeah. Pressing like the, the button down all the time. Yeah, I kept exploding. 
Yeah. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> he just keeps exploding. Just keep blowing myself up. Is this the game? He just blows himself <laughs> up over and over every time you hit reset. It's That's like the right. most frustrating game ever. <laughs> reset. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we played Night Guy on uh, board. 30 Squares of Fate. Mm. Uh, one day we'll have to play that through to getting the key. Mm. We'll put it at the end of the show and just keep playing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so well, that's we'll one. Play through. That's a fun game. We'll that's a really fun game. Play that next when he's finished. Yeah. And then everything will be in it and we can play it a long, mm -hmm. long time. Because uh, we've seen just about everything in it now, I mm -hmm. think. Except for playing it further. Mm -hmm. um, and Ricky and Vicky, another good game to uh, play. I, I'll have to look up, see if there's um, saving or a password structure or something. Or do you just have to play the whole game? Start to finish in one sitting. Probably. We'll have to see. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to read the manual and look yeah, it up. We didn't really read the manual. <laughs> good 7800 show. Well, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, it was fun. That's a good game, though. Ricky and Vicky's great. Yeah. And the sprites and the animation and, like, the little cut scenes, like the little movie scenes at the beginning, all of it are really awesome. Yep. Great box. I really like it. Um, great stuff that it includes. Um, highly recommend... Well, you can't buy it anymore, but um, even playing it, mm. if you play games on Steam, it's a fun one-player or two-player mm -hmm. um, game as well. So that is the end of our regular shows for a while. Mm -hmm. Now we're moving into the Atari 26, or the uh, third annual Atari Homebrew Awards. Homebrew Awards for the next couple shows. Yeah, you're ramping up. We're playing all the games. We're going to be playing all the nominated games mm. um, until the actual award show, which is on February 6th. Mm -hmm. Next, this Friday is a big show. You definitely want to tune in because we'll be announcing all the nominees for every category. Mm. Um, and you'll be able to vote after the show. Shortly after the show. Shortly after the show, <laughs> yeah. When I... Click go 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 on all yeah. the yeah. Uh, you hit you flip voting. all the switches. It re really it'll hit only hit the reset button on the Atari. And really, it'll it'll, it'll only take um, a minute because <laughs> I just have to unlock the the um, the poles. Okay. At that point, yeah. Unlock, unlock, unlock. Yep. And then off nice. it goes. Yay! And that will go to the thirty first, and then we uh, do our show. Our Atari Homebrew Awards on February 6th, nice. noon Pacific Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. GMT. Mm -hmm. Time to start rehearsing the musical numbers. Ooh, bring out my tap shoes. Well, the cats have to start rehearsing oh, the musical numbers. Oh, yes. yes. They haven't been practicing. They've been running around the house, so they've got their cardio up for yeah. the mus musical numbers. Yeah. But singing is mostly meow, meow, yeah. <laughs> mostly during dinner time. Yeah, so. that's true. I don't know if they're going to be able to be ready in time. Yeah. Friday? Friday <laughs> is the announcement of the nominations. Yes. Yes. Uh, the award show is on Saturday the 6th. Mm. Saturday the 6th. Yeah. Because everybody's off. Maybe. some Most people are off. It's a weekend. It's, it's easier, <laughs> let's say. Yeah. For most people. Mm. Uh, thanks, Revenge and Arena Foot and Dan for saying it's a good show. I'm really happy to incorporate 70... 800 games yes, now into the into stream it. yeah because there's so much great um so many great games being made on it mm. uh and it's really taken off this yeah. year well last year it really started taking off and this year i think it's gonna really be crazy um so i'm glad to incorporate that and i'll be going back and forth still there's 2600 games to play i'll play those mm -hmm. 7800 games i'll play those and eventually i'll start mixing the two in between on one show and the other thanks for trying my game uh i will rewatch the show and see what you thought thanks for doing what you do yes uh just ignore anything to do with the bomb destroying yeah us. <laughs> that, we realized that was a that was a controller that, issue. that was a controller but yeah, everything after that there. yeah it's all good so yeah. that we do have some thoughts on that yeah there's some control issues like you kind of move left and you right you get a little stuck you in get a, you get stuck it yeah. needs to be more precise in the movements like yeah. the original you can only go up or down not kind of left and then down yeah so yeah. more precise and of course you already know about half exploding the bricks and beyond that it it's kind actually of works but yeah works yeah yeah the half bricks are interesting yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's probably not what you want to do yeah but he's already mentioned that okay um, is NPH available or are the Mounties stopping him at the border? Neil Patrick Harris. E Ooh. It's, it's, the border is actually still closed. 
Wasn't he living in... No, he, he was. wasn't. In, he was living in Vancouver. He was for living a while. in Vancouver. I think he's back in LA now, though. I think he's got a house here. He might, or he did. Or yeah. he was renting one at least. He was here for a while. I think his. I think his partner is. Does he live here? Canadian or from? The, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. He was here for a while, but yeah. the border's closed. Yeah. So he is not available. So we're gonna have to rely on the cats as a backup. Yes. Um, Atari's a lot more agreeable. Yeah. Um, Pixel's the one who's kind of holding back. Yeah. With, with, <laughs> yeah. with doing the partnership. He needs a bit more direction. Yeah. So Atari might have to do it solo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Atari can't. Yeah. I mean, he'll do a good job. Yeah. He'll sing for his supper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bomberman has had a half tile movement. Mm. You could get stuck if you tried to move half. Mark it instead of the full tile. Yeah. So, yeah, it just... It just needs a little bit of adjustment. That's yeah. all. You know, it's early days. But it's pretty cool. It looks it's really awesome, good. and I, I'm yeah. really looking forward to all the power ups. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. when it's going to get fun. And he yeah. says he's going to put two players in it. Oh, that's awesome. that will be really fun. Yes. That will be really, really, really fun. Yeah. Um. So the next show is on Friday. It's going to be at the normal time, 6 p.m. We're going to be announcing all the nominees uh, for every category. And we're going to be doing the 2600 work in progress mm -hmm. games. Um, and then the next episode, which is on the Tuesday, is going to be the under 4K games. Mm. And then on the 22nd, which is the next Friday after that, is the 2600 completed games. Mm. Um, that might be... I might split them up differently. Uh, I'm going to take a look. But we're going to start with the work in progress games first. Okay, cool. And then uh, I have 8 bit and 8 bit, 5200, and 7800 games on the last day, hmm. which that sounds about right, I hmm. think, because you need three shows for the 2600 games because there's lots of categories. Hmm. Yeah. Multiplayer Bomberman is a necessity, 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Virtual Ireland and Darcy, I don't think so because they haven't been here. For the whole year, we kind of locked down in March. They haven't played any games. They don't know anything about the new games. Mm. Darcy is only has been, even Darcy has only been here for a couple of shows. A couple of shows. Yeah. So it's really difficult. I think it's going to be. I don't even know next year. We'll see. Well, how... I think it. I think next year at some point it'll start ramping up, and it, it yeah. there'll be more flexibility with people. Yeah. yeah. So I think it will get better next year, but it's still up in the air a little. So. Yeah. yeah. But we'll see as it goes. Yeah. So hopefully we can get them more involved as time goes as, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're stuck with us for a bit. Us and the cats. <laughs> yeah, us and the cats. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we'll see what happens. Yep. Yeah. And then there's a lot of games queued up. And there's going to be even more in behind because yes. of the Atari Awards. Yeah. Are taking up half a month. Yeah. There's going to be a bunch of games being made. Mm. And then I'll play catch up after that. So we're going to get a lot of great games after after the Humber Awards. So that's the end of the show. Thanks everybody for hanging in there. It was a fairly long show. I thought Bomberman was going to be super quick because there wasn't much to show, but we had joystick issues and mm. difficulties, so it took a little while. And we liked uh, we liked playing the night guy on board. So that it's went fun. that went for it's a while. It's really fun because it's like all these little mini games. I really yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Someone was uh, comparing it to like Mario Party, but a single player. You know, because you've got all yeah. these little mini games as you go around the board. Very similar. It's really fun. Yeah. A, a single player version of it. Yeah. Of Mario Party. Yeah. 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 I really like that. They're all great. All of the games we play together. Are oh great. yeah. Yeah. The the output of the community is just super high. Yeah. High level of quality now. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, so I want to thank 2600, Captain Classic, Nathan Strum, uh, Revenge, Rena Foot, Dan ABC, Lord Monkus, Carl G, Nutty03, Flackets, who else? VH said, see, thank you for continuing to make tons of games. Oh my god. Mm. Uh, 2600, of course, for doing... Uh, bomber hero bomber hero <laughs> yeah you have well, to keep I'll, checking i'll figure it, it out one yeah. day yeah <laughs> ph said c dr moo cows uh, uh, s ramirez was in there uh, quite a few people today lots of people chatting which is always really nice yeah I think, um i think uh that's the top appealing shows today a lot of yeah. people stopped by and yep. said hi and nathan yep. strum um yeah that's it good good well 
good night. <laughs> We need to practice more of those pro more no we need to get better controllers <laughs> we need our controller fix whatever's happening with that other one we need the ed laden controllers yes yeah we need to order some ed every Ladins. time i go to order the ed laden controllers yeah. i'm like that's not too bad a price then i click shipping oh and it's like oh because <laughs> it's it's a thing it's like it's a oh it's huge it's got it's a brick a, in it right two controllers yeah. side by side yeah um it's a big box, yeah. a heavy box. And, and I bet from... it's got a brick in it. I bet it's got weight so it doesn't yeah. shift around. So Because you want that. You yeah. want it to be heavy. You need to we need to ship it to a box in the States and drive across the border and that's not happening I right now. Know. So how um, much can, how long can I hold out for that? Because you we can't use the pro controllers, um, because they're painful. And I don't have any I don't have the Seagull seventy eight hundred adapter so we can use the Genesis controllers. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, we can still use them. They're just a little frustrating for, especially like where we were jumping around. Yeah. The the controller I had. I don't know if that's the controller, but the I have to mash that right, the the I'll, right hand button to get it to jump. I'll so. check it out in it's a the. Little, uh, maybe it needs cleaning or something. Could be. I'll check it out in the tester. Yeah. See if it presses every time and how hard it is to yeah. press. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. We'll definitely be seeing you on Friday yep. for the nominee announcements. Oh, that's exciting. And the voting and playing of the fun games. Yes. And it shall begin on Friday. Yes. So we'll see you there at 6 p.m. normal time. So have a good night, mm -hmm. everyone, and see you at the end of the week. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. everyone. Bye.